Hello, 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 everybody. How are we doing out here? Good to see you. Thank you for all the happy birthday messages. It's very, very nice of you. Wonderful to have you out here today. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I just had this realization of this song. It probably is going to date me, minus you know, being my birthday itself. But the intro very much is giving Star Fox vibes. Like original Nintendo 64 Star Fox soundtrack. I do, it's just like, I was just like, hold up a second. That's a, that's a memory unlocked right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi everybody. How we doing? Welcome on in. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Eggs, welcome, welcome, welcome. Amber Fire, see we got Sarah. We got uh, Mr. Snitcher. We got Jax. We got Mel. We got Pastel. We got Celestia. We got Niasum. What's, what's going on? Shadow Cake, how we go doing? Shenko, thank you so much for the 18 months. Holy cow. It just crossed midnight which I, where I am, which means I'm now a year older too. Another happy journey around the sun. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday right back to you, my friend. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Lulu Goblin, thank you so much for the seven months. Seven months on your birthday. That's a sign. Hey, thanks so much. I appreciate it. And all the happy birthday message everybody sent me on Twitter this morning and all that cool stuff. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are wonderful people. Oh my gosh. What are the chances that as I'm going to AFK at my farm, you start streaming? Oh, I don't know. It just works out. Sometimes it just works out. Oh my gosh. All right. Today, we're playing in the hardcore world because it sounded fun. Uh, and... I got lunch on the way. It's going to be here in like an hour and a half. I'm very excited. We're going to do a bit of a longer stream today. We're just going to be chilling. Um, I just a few projects I kind of work, wanted to work on, and we'll kind of figure it out as we're going. It should be fun. Uh, but I'm excited. El Canada, thanks so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank, thank you. And for the happy birthday. That's very nice of you. Also, uh, Stephanie, I saw the gift membership like a half hour ago. Thank you very much if you're still in here. Oh my Pleased gosh. Nice to meet you. So we got Marcel, we got Ozander, we got Julie. What's going on? Kales. Hi, 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 hi. Nick. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. Good to see y'all out here. If you have Pleased not already, please you. be sure to leave a like on the stream. I very much do appreciate it. It is my birthday, so uh, you have to. I don't make the rules. It's just, I just have to follow them, and you also got to follow them too, so you know. That's the way it goes. Helen, thank you so much for the six months at tier two. The work schedule finally aligned with a flip stream. Hey, welcome to have you. Great to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh. How we doing, everybody? Oh, we got Sir Vox in here. We got Mia. We got Wimzella. Oh my gosh, so many people. Thank you for all the happy birthdays. I appreciate it. Uh, POV, what's going on? Profi Sloth, how you doing? Nightmares Roses, hello, hello, hello. Katie did with the 11 months. We got Trisha with the dono. Thank you so very much. You are also amazing as well. I hope you're doing it well today, Trisha. Good to see you. Uh, Fufu, thank you so much for the one month. They're not even popping up on my list yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, now they're here. They're like appearing in chat, and there's just so many coming in that I can't even see it on the list. Uh, Fufu says, you have a wonderful birthday today. Thank you for being awesome and for all the wonderful builds, laughs, and happiness you bring to our lives. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you to say. I appreciate that. Brooke, thank you so very much for the dono. Happy birthday to my favorite YouTuber. This should be reading them out. I think you all broke Streamlabs. I think you all broke Streamlabs. But we do that often here. We do that often here. It's really, it's it's quite fragile. It's pretty easy to break. Statifier, thank you so very much. Hey, what's the server? Uh, it's hey, called, um, yeah, IP is 1.1.1.1.0.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Um, and it's, it's, it's called a single player world. Hey, for real. Actually, Happy birthday cool. to my favorite YouTuber. Much love. Hope it's a good one. I would give you more, but I can't ATM, so I hope Brooke, you enjoy. Brooke, please, no worries at all. No, heart, no worries. Heart, heart. Lovely to have you hey, here. Thank real. you so very much. Happy birthday, Flip. Oh my gosh. You inspired me to build Coma, slash live in a giant tree it. in my realm. Ooh, so thanks. Fun, 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 fun. All right, Please who did we miss in here? They're just gonna keep going. There's so many. Uh, Adrena Kelly, thanks so much for the 11 months. Hope you have a great one. Hey, you too as well. One month to the full you. year. Brand new tree coming. We got Nekri with the 10 months. Here's to another great year. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Again, Katie did with Please the 11 months. Uh, Helen Sinclair, the, I got you already. Thank you again so much for the six months. And I believe that is everybody so far. I think I think I got them all. I think I, I think I got it. Happy B day, almost adults now. Yeah, you. it's been a pretty good birthday this morning. Uh, Sid got in on the new Taylor Swift tickets raffle that came out, so we got our tickets this morning. Pretty Thank excited you, about that. So that's Happy gonna be birthday. sweet. Yahoo! 
Until today, I was uh, convinced you're a Libra, but oh well, we can't all be perfect. I mean, you know, being a Leo is pretty cool too. You can be pretty perfect as that. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for that donut. I appreciate that. But yeah, so we got our, we got a birthday present of being able to buy T Swift tickets this morning. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then just been hanging out with the family all week. It's been really nice. Saturday, we went, we did like an early birthday. Uh, Sid got massages for us. So we went and did massages um out on saturday and when i had dinner with some friends and then we've just been like slowly catching up with different friend groups throughout the week it's been great and today is like finally the we're just like chilling it on the actual we're like every other day has been booked and <laughs> we're just chilling today uh and like we got it, unfortunately it's raining but like we got steaks to throw on the barbecue later we're gonna order some crumble cookies later uh, oh it's gonna be great <laughs> Flip going to see a singer? I know, wow. He Flip going outside? Woo! Have fun at the concert. I mean, it's a far way away. It's the brand new tour that came out, so I think it's like 2024. But we're like, let's just turn it into a vacation. Go fly somewhere. It'll be, it'll be really fun. But yeah, it's uh, it will be cool. It'll be cool. Will there be a third at Empire's SMP? I don't know. We'll see. Crumble cookie is so good. I know. It's like, it's very dangerous that we learn that you can get them delivered. It's been very dangerous since then. My friends, we're almost at 1,300 people. We're almost at 1,000 likes. I believe we can get there. But with that, I'm not even going to be one of those people that's like, hey, let's get to 1,000 likes before we start playing the game. But, you know, it'd be pretty cool if we almost got there. But speaking of which, I guess, you know, we could, like, move into playing the game. That's cool, too. We could kind of move into playing the game. But, like, maybe 1,000 likes could happen, too. That'd be pretty sweet. They deliver those? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I'm very sorry for everybody's diets and wallets and everything of the sorts uh now that you know that you can get them delivered <laughs> oh my gosh building a piglin bartering farm and i hate piglins just as much as villagers now just throw gold ingots on the ground and get them to walk over them that's the easiest is you, if you're building a bartering farm you probably already have the gold farm set up just you use gold ingots to lure them around and don't bother with the crossbow ones just work with the sword ones that's all I can say is the crossbow ones are annoying as heck. So somebody somehow got into the hardcore world. I really don't know how it happened, but I just found all these presents in boxes sitting here again. Yeah, I, I really just, somebody just left a bunch of presents here for my birthday. They're so fun. Look at them. Wow. Oh, moss. Wow. Oh my gosh. More moss. Oh, wow. Look at, look at all this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh man. So much. Yeah. I'll just take these out of here. I'm gonna put these Pleased back to in. meet you. It's fine. I'll just... Do I only have 12 small drip leaf? Oh my gosh. The chain that sucks. I thought I had so much more than that. We're just gonna. We don't need 16 beetroot seeds. They can go in the dump chest. The, the random goodies chest with all my saplings, rotten flesh, and axolotls. <laughs> Rune Bunny, thanks so much for the five gift memberships. I really do appreciate that. I'll, I'll be this organized. They can go with the other dumped root seeds. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much again. Lucia, thanks so much for the five months as well. Happy birthday. So happy that you're enjoying yourself so much around your birthday. Yeah, yeah. It's been good. It's been good seeing family and all that stuff. Uh, the torch flowers can also... They're just going to go in there. That's fine. It's fine. Nobody's going to know. They're not going to know. How would they know? Nobody's going to know. Uh, just like those are going to go in there. So today, first and foremost, we have a very important thing that we need to do, and it involves an emerald. Well, a few emeralds, and I also need some candles. Probably some dye. What, what's a good, you know, I kind of, I feel like I, mm, let's go with light blue candles. We do those. I might already have some. I already definitely do have some. So cool, we just made some dye. Uh, don't need them. I guess I only need one candle because you, you can only put one candle on the cake. So we got that. But we got to make a little birthday cake. What's the IP? I already said it earlier, Mad Boy. If you missed it, when you asked for me, the, you, when you asked for the IP the first time and I told you and you missed it, I'm not going to tell you again. You can go back and re-listen to it. Warp cake? Exactly. Then you get a jumper and lurking. Ooh. Ooh, have fun. Ah, that's a lot of pumpkins. Cake. 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 We have to get a cake. You have, I gotta have a birthday cake. 
and I wanted to make a little seating area. I don't know where quite yet in the city, but I thought we could just like have a nice little seat somewhere just like and have like a few chairs and a birthday cake around. So I wanted to add that in. But then the main thing I wanted to focus on today, uh, kind of alluded to in the thumbnail for the stream is I thought it would be fun to come down here and just start working on tearing this down. So I want to bring that down. So it's actually something where we can build boats because right now it's only two blocks deep. And then I also want to tear down, actually it'd be easier to see from up here, kind of like a, a line from here, basically where the stone shore section is. I want to tear that all out and bring it underwater. So I really wanted to open this up so the harbor can be a little bit larger. And then we're going to maybe, we're going to probably push it back a little bit on this side. I definitely need to eventually figure out how we're getting this out into the main ocean because that's kind of important realistic wise and everything like that so we'll figure that out later but we do we do have that now so that's pretty cool um i figured we'd start that i've been doing so much digging i might as well keep digging it's great why not uh do i have scaffolding i should have scaffolding in here somewhere ah scaffolding it got moved into this one i don't know why it's in the redstone box but it is don't gotta be like that but it do um oh i also have scaffolding in there fun but let's get ourselves some beehives we can take some looms maybe some campfires i think i also want some hanging signs that could be kind of fun so i definitely need to go make some more chains so we can do that we're just gonna build a little seating area i don't know where it is like an outside i'm thinking like a like a, a little pergola above it and everything and we can just make it super fun Oh, thank you so much everybody for the birthday messages what about the the desert builds they're they're still happening i just thought for stream today because um the video is ready to go for tomorrow and uh i'm now on day 4622 um so i've spent well over 200 days working on the last video and uh i figured that the best way to showcase that is just to uh send it and not spoil it on stream today so you all gotta wait to see that tomorrow and so i figured a way to avoid that section is just to come back over here to the city for a little while and work curious about tomorrow's video it's a good one we, we tried something new um uh, marcus and i've been talking about kind of ways that we can make the videos a little bit more uh, oh, that's mob spawnable. I should probably... I think I can put a torch here without any issues. No wonder there's a creeper in here. It just spawned up here. Okay. Yeah, that's, let's just do some torches. That that Yep, that's probably where the creeper came from. Yeah, so the next video is super cool. I really, really like how it turned out. Uh, we tried doing a few extra things of just kind of honestly slowing down the video and showing more of the process. So I hope y'all enjoy it. It's a little bit of a longer one compared, actually it came out to about, it's about a 40 minute video. So mark your calendars from 10, 15 a.m. Pacific to about 11 a.m. Pacific. You just gotta block block the time off for the foot video. That's the way it goes. Okay, where is a good place that we can put like a, a hangout? I'm trying to think. We have the bakery up here. I love this part of the city. I want to do more of this. We need more of this in the city where it just like works up the hill. Oh, I love this little curved pathway. But this is a bakery. As you can tell by the bakery inside, it's very bakery-ish. We, do we have any space up here? I feel like I fully decorated everything. Here. Maybe we can go back to the starter house and do something there. Added a new data pack where I can have pink armor trams. Wait, that's kind of sick. We like foot videos. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Is a longer stream today too? Yeah, that's the goal. We'll see how long we go for. All right. Um, maybe in the city won't work because it's pretty full. I feel like I do have space around the starter base that we just haven't really utilized too well. Because I, d it's one of those things where I've left it for so long and I just don't know what to do back here now. These trees have been here probably since like day 200 and I'm just like I don't know what to do but maybe we could have the little space like back here we can kind of come behind 
and have like a little walkway out there and then we can well i guess this overhang maybe not all the way out there but we can like tuck a little like celebration spot let's just go like right back in here turn this into some horse dirt and just do something fun i don't know make like a little little we do a little birthday party a little birthday party place where they're celebrating why because we can oh my gosh oh my gosh linksy thank you so much for the 10 gift memberships hey, my dude how are you doing Just today want to say happy birthday here's to another year around the sun really enjoy holy all cow everything's do. coming in right now i really do appreciate that Did i miss Lincoln nice to here? meet you how you doing today man hope you're doing well uh kayla thanks so much for the dono we got alenia thanks so much for the seven months and just go to sleep thank you so much for coming to support nice i really appreciate you. that thank you thank you thank you they've been there for so long now i know it's kind of like a i feel like we got remove them we gotta really do something special do you have any tips on how to build well without testing out a build on a creative world beforehand best way to do that is practice if you're not looking to test things beforehand that basically means that you need to have like the the skill set to just wing it and go for it and that's great that's totally fine or you got to be okay with tearing it down and retrying if you're trying to just wing it and do no testing and no preparation or anything like that you you really got to spend time on like being okay with things being wrong and yeah just winging it is a totally valid option like 100 valid um but the part that comes with that is you also have to be okay that the first time you might not get it right and that's fine that is totally a-okay we have been down on chains for so long so let's just do this that's perfect okay i always i don't know why they're so easy to craft and i have unlimited iron and i just can't be bothered of course hope you're doing well hey thank you so very much man and it's been a good day so far so time for some chill hardcore vibes we it requires a level of spot improv yeah that a big part of it is that oops that's over here to the wood storage room i was thinking for the colors we can have some warped and then we can have how much oh, i do have acacia okay that's fine uh and then we could do this let's do like 32 of each and just see how many signs we can get out of it uh and then we can go from there linksy i gotta say i'm i'm now understanding why you haven't uh transformed the mesa all all at once i i'm just gonna say it <laughs> i <laughs> I, I, I finally went through and did a whole Mesa transformation and oh my gosh, that is time consuming. <laughs> so there you go, everybody. That's the topic for tomorrow's video. It has been all I've been doing. I mean, you all saw it. You, you all have seen the last few streams at this point, probably, where we've been mining sand and mining red sand and that's all we've been doing. It's so much work, yeah. I, I just like drew a line. I was like, this, I go no further than this. <laughs> this is where the render distance ends from like my viewing point, and I go no further. <laughs> okay, there we got those hanging signs. Hanging. Oh, they only stacked to 16? What are these signs? Come on, Minecraft. You can do better than this. Okay, let's put those in there. We'll keep the stack of chains on us. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave some chains over here because I make hanging signs so much. And I feel like I'm constantly just like running down to craft chains to run back up here and do it. Uh, outside of those, we probably want some spruce, little spruce fences. Actually, maybe not fences. Uh, let's do logs. No, they stacked to 16. I know, I'm sad. Do... I know hanging signs connect this way. Do they also connect to fences or no? Do we have any fences we can test with? I feel like they don't. I wish they would. So I kind of want to use them as like a party banister. So we do this. Nice to meet you. They don't at all. Okay. Um, but if I do that... 
But what we could do is that, and then we have killed. like a trap door there to connect them. Because they are able to freestand after you place them down. You just have to place them off of something, which is dumb. I, any block that can freestand in Minecraft, like candles, hanging signs, whatever it might be, and then but you have to place them on top of a block and then remove the block is so pointless. Why? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Whoever made that call, I don't like it. And I just want to talk. I ju just want to talk. That's all. Okay. Uh, we don't need that anymore. I'm trying to think. We got this for some tables. We got some beehives. Maybe we can throw in some bamboo blocks too. If I, I think I have some, because I always like using these as like a little drink cart of sorts. Uh, so let's make, because I can't be stopped, spruce trap doors, always. How else would it work? No, but like, so you can do, say this and then place it there, right? Like that's fine. But if you take a candle, you can't place it there. But if you do this, you can place it there and then remove that. Do you, and then the candle stays. Do you see, There, there's an issue with this. <laughs> there is an issue with this. And thank you so much for becoming a super fan for the two months. And Stephanie, thank you so much for the 11 months. I really appreciate that. Like the fact that it can do this and stay is great. But like the fact that you then have to do like a do 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 do. And also for a while, I think it's fixed now, but you used to not be able to do that. Like there's some things that you can't place on top of scaffolding, but then if you break them or if you place another block, place the thing down and then place the scaffolding, you're fine. And that's where I get frustrated. <laughs> candles also can't be put on leaves. Oh, it's leaves. Yeah, that's the candles on leaves. That's what it is. And then, but then if you place the leaf underneath, then it's fine. Like, why? Why? Minecraft, why? It's a real. Happy birthday. S Rip. Party face. Jenny, thanks so much. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's do a little setup over here. Are those pigs? Those are pigs in there. It is the animal barn. It does make sense the pigs are inside. Uh, We're probably going to want these. And then... Probably no sea pickles, don't really need those. I kinda wanna know, do I have any brick? Actually, do I have any tough? Ooh, I know where tough is. I know, I know, I know. You're gonna hate this. You all are gonna hate this. I know where tough blocks are. This, this, this one. I was so close. Man, I was one off. Oh, I was almost there. Um, and then, do I have any andesite in here? I don't, but we can use stone bricks. That's okay. See? See? Like, fourth shulker. Fourth shulker box. But I'm thinking we do, like, a little tiny wall back there. Kind of copying that one. But we're just going to do, like, just on this side. Yeah, we'll do that. That, that works. That works. Organized chaos. See, I'm so close. These enchanted books. These were all for the netherite tools I was gonna upgrade, and then I ran out of levels, and I was like, you know what? I think we got enough tools for now. We're we're actually we'll be okay. Organized chaos. That is how I live, in game and life. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take some of our coarse dirt, and we can tear all of this up. And we can just put course dirt back down. We're making a birthday party. And then we'll get into actually tearing up the land and working on that harbor. Your sister's birthday also. Ooh. There's so many people that are born on August 9th. Every time I'm, I mean, there's probably so many people that are born every day of the year. And it's probably just like biased because it's my birthday. So I notice it more. But the amount of people that are like, oh my gosh, I have a, it's also my birthday today. I'm like, it's a lot of people. <laughs> I 
and you're all like, yeah, flip. People are born every day. I'm like, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. That's where we, yeah. Saw nothing. Harbor, boat. Uh, probably won't build a boat today, but maybe. We'll see. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. I want it to be to here. And we can go, let's see. Uh, so my plan is if we can take a little bit, uh, stalling, stalling, stalling. Aha. So we can take some of these guys and just kind of extend it over to here. Be there. That's not an X. That's an X. Uh, and then I was thinking from here, if we can do this, I hope we can. We cannot. But we can do this. Okay, we're, we're going to trim this back down to being just a slab in a moment. Oh, no, because it would have to be a... Can I do this? That's so dumb. So what I want is that, where it's kind of connected. You see? Where it kind of has like its little lip, a little, little, little bit on it. And then we're going to do alternating, I think. Probably. Yeah. And we can get like, it's almost like a party streamer. And then we just kind of stretch these across. I don't know how far, but we're just going to send them. Maybe to here, because that covers the entire place. And we can have them end on different lengths. That could work. Yeah. Because then it's not just going to be a big box out here. Thank you. Birthdays until March, yeah. Help our types work. Just like today, you all have to like the stream. It is my birthday, so you must do it. And I'm thinking here we can kind of just do a whoop. Nope. How many more do I have? Oh, we're going to need a lot more probably. Depends how sharp this comes back. Ooh. -oh. What are you making? We're making a little birthday party. I don't know. I feel like in Minecraft, it's not many people make things that are like big celebrations. So I, I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of a fun little build just to get started on today's stream. We'll do this, then we'll go digging. And then I also want to get a bunch of conduits because I think conduits, I'm very inspired by Pixar Riffs. Um, for those who did not watch Empire season one, Pix did a lot of lighting in Empire Season 1 off of his desert base using conduits. And I thought something like that could be so cool. So I think we're going to kind of level off the water area today, see how far we can take it. And if it takes too long on digging and basically we're getting bored, uh, then we're going to just move on to go finding some shipwrecks, seeing if we can get some more sherds and all of that fun stuff. And I'm thinking here we could kind of just do the box. Are you a big Pokemon guy? No, but I did see on Pokemon Violet, you can uh, get a free Mew right now. So I definitely logged in to get my Mew. I have not booted up that game in a long time, but I was like, yes, childhood Whip would love to get a free Mew. There's a code you have to use. It's get, here, I'll type it, get, then it's a zero. If you type that in on like the redeem secret gifts right now on uh, Pokemon Violet or whatever the other one is, you can you can get a Mew. I don't know what level it comes out. I, I literally got it and I was like, cool. <laughs> I closed it down. <laughs> but you know, you, you go check it out for yourself. 
Keep it real. Dude. Happy B day. Hope your day is less stressful than mine. My apartment nearly burned down last night, so oh I'm running gosh. around trying to make sure everything is okay. Brenna, I'm anyway, so sorry to hear thank that. You for streaming. I need oh. a distraction less than three. <laughs> I was just going to say, I didn't even read the last message yet, but yeah, hopefully this is a nice way you can hang. Are you trapped in the forest fire areas or something else randomly chaotic? But regardless, I hope everything stays okay moving forwards. Okay, so we got this out here, and I'm thinking from here. I just want to do like a little, we can have like a big table because you know, birthday parties, you always want to have everybody sit in together instead of their own little tables. Uh, and we can kind of do this. We can have that. And then in the middle, this is where you can't, I knew it. Sorry, sorry. I knew there was something that I was forgetting. You can't place cakes on scaffolding. But, you know how you can place them on? Something that will instantly break them. AKA a trap door. And now we need to light the candle. Yay! Happy birthday. To me. Why? I don't know why. Ask Mojo. And then I was thinking we could have like a little like, let's get some sprucey stuff. We can do like a little setup over here. Or maybe there's some campfires. They can be set up for like goods and stuff. It probably needs a back. So let's just bump you back here. come back and put some like carrots or something on there just to give it a little a little bit and i'm thinking over here we're gonna have a traveling drink cart to make it a fun party and so we can do a boom and a boom and boom and then i need a spruce fence gate nope fence 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 gate fence gate and then if you didn't know well, actually, I don't know. I, I've i been using them like this for a long time, and I love it. Using the side, the top or bottom of a bamboo as this kind of looks like an old school, like, I always think of it as like wine bottles. You have just like 16 wine bottles stacked in somewhere. So I figured we could try that today. And we can do something like this. I don't know. It's doing a thing. Lizasaurus, thank you so much for the 10 gift memberships. Oh, I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, Brenda, I missed the seven months as well. Thank you so very much. Uh, and I do hope your day gets better. I'm so sorry about that. But Liz, I hope you're doing well today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's very kind of you. But if we do this, we kind of have it just open from the one side. And then uh, we can have like a... It probably needs a little top. The more we can surround it, the better. And then here can just be like a little fun front for the wagon. I don't know. We have drinks. We have cake. It's party! That's how it works, right? That's a lot of wine. What kind of party are you planning? Jenny, a fun one, okay? <laughs> a 32 bottle of wine party. Which means a lot of people Happy better show up. Otherwise, we're gonna have a lot of extra food. Day. Upside down face. Upside down face. Uh, Dalian, thanks so much for the donut. I really do appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm thinking back here. Pleased to meet you. I know it's wood. But we definitely need a little barbecue. We're just going to pretend that that's fireproof. Technically, fire tech is off in this world, so everything's fireproof. Mary, thanks so much for coming to member. I really do appreciate that. Sounds like a great party, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> but we can have the birthday cake candle on there. We need to go get some potatoes or something to put on there. You know, really great food to have a party. What what stuff do we have in here that we can throw on? Ooh, we can throw some chicken. 
Maybe some raw rabbit and some pork chops. Perfect. And then do I have any item frames? If I do, they're probably out in that shulker box. Steaks? Yeah. We are doing steaks tonight. Don't forget beetroot soup punch. Exactly. Well, I was thinking we'd do like this over here. That way it looks like we got some food. Uh, and then do I have an item frame? I do. And I do have a data pack in this world that allows us to turn into an invisible item frame. So if we do this and then we, we have to rotate it first. So I'm thinking that's like the proper grilling position. And then bam, invisible item frame. That's really all I used them for. <laughs> it's great. And then this can be like a party cloth. Pleased to meet you. This can kind of like help just make it a little bit like nicer on top. I don't know. And also bring some light in the area. That's not where you go. That's where you go. Uh, we, uh, the scar patented smoothie machine also definitely needed. And then we probably want a lantern out here for like actual light. Actually, can I hang them from these? <gasps> you can. I forgot they let you do that now. This is kind of fun. I don't know about y'all. I think it's kind of sweet. It's Nash. Brought the looms, but I don't think we're gonna use them. Look at that. Wow. Got a little party. Perfect. Where'd you get the data pack for the invisible item frames? Uh, if you Google Java invisible item frames data pack, you can probably find it. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's literally just called invisible item frames. I can't, I can't remember where I found it and I don't wanna like misspeak on that. So apologies. If we can have this as like a, they, have, they got access to this one here and then what we could do hey, no that kind of blocks it off i, I love don't like your that videos so much you have given me so much inspiration for minecraft builds and i hope you have a fantastic hey, is that day. hermione hermione thank you so much for the donut i really appreciate it and thank you so much for those kind words that's very nice thank you thank you thank you uh and ali thank you so much for the 18 months thank you for everything in these last 18 months i defended my phd thesis in july and wouldn't have made it without you and your community Hey, I'm sure you kicked butt on that, and that was all you. Ali, that was all you. We're just here to be a distraction and give you a little bit of a a little bit of a relief when you need it, but that's all you. You kicked butt at that, I'm sure. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good. This is our little party. This is this is our little party zone. We're just gonna put that extra scaffolding in here. Uh, the beehives are gonna go back in here. And uh, you know what? We're also gonna put the hanging signs in here. Why? Because I can. Thank you everybody for all the birthday messages. I really do. I'm reading, I'm reading them. There's so many flying by and I, I really do appreciate it. Y'all are amazing people. Okay, now that the sun is high in the sky and this might kill the stream, but Aha! You know what? I really like this shader pack that I have. It's called Rethinking Voxels. It's very cool. It's like got full ray tracing, but the these guys are messed up, glow lichen, so they put off like super light in the in the current version I'm using. But I think it looks I think it looks nice. It's a party. You guys want to come to my birthday party? Music quite loud. Yeah, it's, it's down to the usual. Down to the normal number it's sitting up. The Dude, the clouds are so good. The clouds are so good. Okay, so because we got like apparently 32 bottles of wine. So like we got a lot of... We got a lot of stuff we got to get through, you know. Brandon, I actually have an old video on the channel about how to build a diagonal building. You can go check that out if you want. 
actually i should drop all those off so from here i want to just start tearing all this down we're going to set up the beacon and we're going to just do a little work over there music is smidge loud i can turn it just there we go 32 bottles of wine on the cart 32 bottles of wine exactly I wonder if anybody on the supporter server has made it a little birthday area for you. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Music's so quiet. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. I think it's also just a quieter song now, too. It's one of those things where, like, I there's, like, the general standard of, like, volume that you publish YouTube videos at, and I wish music was better about following that same thing of like the decibel level that you have it sitting where so many songs are just like way loud or way quiet compared to others you know what um sorry we're just doing it we're just doing our back we're getting our best lap times in we just need to get the wings moving i guess <laughs> these also need to be emptied but that's gonna be It's fine. Don't look at it. Yeah, it's fine. This is this is the vibe. This is the vibe today. Is there a certain type of color or block palette that you haven't tried before looking forward to using soon? Honestly, the way people are using glazed terracotta recently, basically from B dubs. I really want to I really want to try that I think that I think that could be a fun project to give a shot or just like a fun way to incorporate it into some builds okay so we're not gonna touch the area over here which means that we can lay these shulkers down perfect and then we're gonna need our bacon I want to put it as far over here as I can. Dang it. So we're going to start that being the corner, and then we're going to go up from here. Okay. Will you finish off that dock side? That? Yeah, this is all future. I'm definitely coming back here. We're def This is all stuff that I very much want to do. Do not worry. These projects I'm planning to pick back up as soon as we come back to the city. And I figured on streams, we can kind of just tackle them a little bit here and there. Basically, if there's stuff over in the desert that I don't want to show. Because it's not that I'm done with this area. It's just I wanted a break for videos. I want to do something a little different for a bit. Because I felt like the hardcore videos were just alternating between... Here's some new feature that we're going to experiment with. And also, here we're building on the city. So I, I just wanted to take a break for a bit and have like a full fresh start so new hardcore episode dropping tomorrow where we're basically fixing up the biome and getting it ready to actually build in and then after that i think the next one i really want to mess around with camels and then i'm hoping 1.20.2 has dropped after that so that we can do something with the desert village and just kind of have that being on theme Lots of different directions you can go now that you've expanded in the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured expanding to the desert not only like opens up the desert as a building area that we can work on, we can come back to later, but it opens up more of the world. It makes it so that we're not just confined to this. I love this. This is fantastic, but I don't want to be stuck here, you know? How old am I? 29? The amount that we've been saying that just like <laughs> like how old are you 29 oh, it's been way too much <laughs> okay uh da -da 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 -da. we need a conduit and we got to set that up underwater uh 
Wolf, if you want to see the benefits you can get out of it, you can actually click on it before you hit pay because it won't, it's not an instant pay clicking on the button. Uh, but you can see what all of the different tiers come with if you are interested in checking that out. Um, every tier down, like from the supporter, then to tier one, tier one gets all the benefits of supporter, tier two gets all tier one, etc. like that. So, okay, we have Conduit, Prismarini, Prismarini, Prismarini. Do you do shout outs? Uh, depends what you mean by a shout out. Because some people think of shout out as reading their name. And I mean, I'll read people's names as I read the chat. But if you're asking for a shout out, like for your Minecraft channel, I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. So no, I'm not, I'm not going to give you a shout out. I give shout outs all the time to people I support and who I just are just absolutely amazing people. I will always give shout outs if I, but for me, it's very much like a, you got to earn it. I, I'm not just going to give them out for free. I think this is the first conduit we've set up in this world. It for real. But Happy they are so cool. One. Can we all just agree that conduits are like one of the coolest things Minecraft has added that just hardly ever get used? I I just think the block well thing. I guess it's a block, it's just rotating. But they look so cool, right? Yo, little rainbow, thank you so much for the dono. And I appreciate the happy birthday message. The heartbeat they give off is a little eerie, but you know. I thought they took way more prismarine than that. That was over a stack. What do they even do? They give you conduit power. The buff right here allows you to swim faster, break blocks faster underwater, and you can breathe underwater. I've been binging Pyre since you shouted them out last stream. They're amazing, right? Aren't their videos just so chill? They're just so like, I just want to curl up in a blanket on a rainy day and just like, that's not the full conduit though. I think that is full conduit power. I don't think you get any more by, uh, I don't think you get any more by fully filling it in. As soon as it's open. Like, as soon as it's open and rotating like that, that's full power. Because if they made something where you had to box in all the corners and cover it up, and then they put this animation on it, that's just dumb on their part. So. Uh, all right. We got this in here. Uh, we're just going to spend a little while mining. We're almost an hour into stream already today. So I want to spend just a bit doing this. I don't want to spend the entire stream mining. Um... So we're just going to take this down. I, I kind of want the base to still be at about this point. What are we at? Like 56. And we're just going to like sw like swoop it up. So let's just take this back. If we have time, we'll. I want to terraform most of it to being dirt. But if we have time for that, we have time for it. If not, that's okay. We're gonna leave like that out here probably two or three blocks of where it'll just be because that's already three blocks deep so we don't need to take it down much further and we want the wood pillars to be built up into like some stone and something so that they can have their space oh 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 oh, oh, oh ah e cover it up i'm sorry i'm sorry i forgot i already filled that <laughs> i guess that's where that stays some good mods for java uh i have my entire mod list that i use for this series in the discord um but that's all vanilla friendly mods basically optimization ones to make your game run better if you're looking for more mods like gameplay crazy stuff that like add things to the game create mods really fun i've had a lot of fun working with that so you could check that out and outside of that, I know nothing about the modded Minecraft community these days. If you want to do some crazy building stuff, you could jump into uh, 
uh, chat before you react that Mr. Beast is here. Uh, please reread the name of the person claiming to be Mr. Beast, and also notice the lack of check mark next to their name. That's Mr. Beast. There's no T. So for the the people who are freaking out, uh, you've been bamboozled. Heck and bamboozled by a scammer. Um, and there you go. You've been scammed. It is funny how much people see like the channel logo and then see like the start of a name and they're like, oh my gosh, it's the person. There's a lot of quip imposters out there too. They're in the comments of every single video. If you don't see a check mark next to the name or like a notification that I responded to you because YouTube will actually tell you that like the person who posted the video responded to you um, on their video. Like if you don't, if you don't see that, it's not, it's not, I apologize though. Some people are out there scamming, but there's nothing I can do. I ban them. They come back with a new account. YouTube doesn't seem to get rid of any accounts. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to swim up and get all the drops because they are... This is the annoying part about mining underwater. I, I understand why they made the change to allow drops to now float and do all that cool stuff. But man, do I not like it. <laughs> now I have to swim around. I want my num 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 num. I num 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 num. Yeah, there's been a new round of mojang. Uh, phishing scammer emails headed out too. So if you if you're seeing links from Mojang saying click this, you need to update your account. Don't click the link. Go to the Minecraft website and log in there. That's what never never click links. If you don't know where it's coming from, or if you're thinking like, oh, this is from blah blah blah, I should log into there and see what's going on. You should go to the website and log in, not through the email that you received. Oh, inventory's full. Who are the stuff? Now you're just playing Hungry Hungry Hippos. Honestly, goaded game. Hungry Hungry Hippos was an S tier game. Still is, probably. Just haven't played it in a long time myself. Okay, so where the blocks are sitting down means that there, there are not source blocks of water. Meaning we should actually do some of this. Okay, that should fill that in. You know what? I don't really need more stone. I think I'm actively sitting on over 100,000 stone blocks in my storage right now. So I'm just going to make the call of we don't need to be picking up more. It's going to be okay. We'll be okay without all of the stuff. What's the easy way, easiest way to get full netherite plus tools? Technically, technically the easiest, quickest way because now you have to raid a bastion in order to get your netherite tools, seeing as you have to get the netherite upgrade template. Um, well, one, you're gonna need a lot of diamonds because you're gonna need seven diamonds per diamond tool you're gonna upgrade because you're gonna need to make a netherite upgrade template for that. And if you wanna save on the diamond mining time, which honestly is like the most time consuming part of it, even if you're mining for ancient debris, the mining for diamonds, there's a reason why it's getting updated in 1.20.2. Um, it's real bad right now. Diamond mining since the Caves and Cliffs update has been awful. It's so much more difficult to find diamonds because Deep Slate takes forever to get through. Um, so the fastest way is just raid Bastions. Honestly, that if you can deal with Piglin Brutes, the fastest way to get full Netherite, just raid Bastions. 
Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of land popping up here so it's not just like a flat line. So we're going to cover all of that. Then it's going to come back down here. And probably when we get a little bit closer to the corner, back in this section, we'll raise it up again. But that's your, that's your fastest. If you're looking for like speed and you're like an S tier God super pro gamer, like, you know, that noob pro God, like you're not even like, you're just laughing at the pro level people. You're just like, I'm so good at this it game. Nobody, real. nobody can beat me. Just go raid your bastions. You'll get netherite right, right away. To say progress is going great. Cause you can get Thank netherite ingots. You can get your upgrade templates. You can even get the rare netherite stuff, I believe. I don't know. I'm not that good at the game. I don't raid those things. I only go up there in there if I have to. Okay, and thanks so much for the dono. I mentioned a large project I'm working on last stream, so glad to see glad to say progress is going great. I remember somebody mentioned something crazy, and I can't remember what it was. Good luck. I'm glad to hear it's going well. You got this. Uh. Watching Minecraft while playing Minecraft. Good way to go. Good, good way to do. I want the dirt. Like, that's what I care about the most. And the coal. The coal ore. Have you watched New Girl? Uh, I haven't watched it all, but I've definitely watched off Pleased and on. to meet you. leave my bed i didn't it's in my inventory we're gonna leave it over here just threw up on my phone you should probably go clean that up instead of typing on it that's a little gross uh billy Tofu, thanks so much for the 16 months happy birthday to you hope you have an excellent hey thanks so much i really appreciate that yeah new video drops tomorrow you all have to watch it it's my birthday you can't say no so sorry you all you all suddenly have plans tomorrow <laughs> Yeah, that zombie had the full gold armor flex. He was like, look how cool I am. Oh, yeah. How long you be streaming today? Uh, I don't have anything else going on today, so we're just going to stream for as long as I want, pretty much. I got lunch showing up here in a little bit, so we can have a whip stream, hang out, eat some lunch, Q&A session. And then after that, I... Um, I kind of want to just keep working on this for a bit. I definitely don't want to do it the entire time because I think I'll get bored of just digging. It's all I've done in Minecraft over the past while, long while. I played like 50 hours of Minecraft in the last like six days. So yeah, uh, and most of that time has been spent digging. some chipotle coming oh. got a burrito bowl so excited i've been shaving I, i've been craving chipotle a lot recently i don't know why just randomly like last week i was like i really want chipotle and then i was like you know what birthday we're ordering it's almost as if minecraft is your job <laughs> We got a lot of digging done. It's sushi. I'm happy. Oh, I'm jealous. Sushi also sounds so delicious. We're actually doing a sushi night on Friday. Very excited. Going over to my stepmom's place. And uh, we used to do it a lot. Uh, just like, just go to, there's a really cool international grocery store chain in the Seattle area called Uwajimaya probably saying it incorrectly but they have like really good sushi and everything like that so we just like pick up a bunch of it and just like create like a large platter and it's it's so fun it's a good it's a good night We're doing that for like a birthday dinner on friday pleased to meet you 
Kaya, thanks so much for becoming a supporter. Getting st stressed because I thought I was going to miss your birthday. Oh, you're talking to me on that one. Please, no, no, no. My family has always been a big believer in birthday months. Because life is so busy that it's hard to always get there and uh, talk to people on their day. So we've always been like, you know what? Birthday month. We'll make sure that we celebrate during the month at least some point, And we'll make sure we all connect during that. But, you know, we also understand that life is busy. And sometimes you're going to be a little busy and can't make it happen. Wajimaya does actual sushi platters too. Oh, no way. Yeah, we always just go and like buy the, the fish. All the all the types that we know we love. <laughs> like I know there's at least one or two local Seattle people in here. Really, boys? Really? Really? You're going to try and shoot me with a crossbow while I'm underwater? How's that going to work out for you? I know there's at least a few people from Pacific Northwest that know of the, of the store. What was your day like? So today I woke up, I took the dogs on a walk. It was raining a little bit, felt kind of nice. Uh, and then I came back and got a workout in. Played Diablo 4 for like a half hour. We bought some Taylor Swift tickets for the, the new release that came out today. And then um, I started stream. It's definitely expensive. Yeah, it's definitely a premium store, but it's got good stuff. Would you say you like the rain? I love the rain. I don't like being in it when it's when it's like one of those rains where it's like you just being nearby it makes you feel like damp just because it's like just cold and damp everywhere that's when i'm a little just like Ugh, maybe not maybe not today but for the most part i really like the rain i live in seattle it's uh it's hard to not love the rain or it's hard to live here if you don't at least somewhat enjoy the rain Write it off as a birthday expense. There you go. There you go. Exactly. There's a boat to collect. Does a boat actually make your hitbox bigger? When you're like picking stuff up off the top? I will say like video games on a nice rainy day and you can hear the rain outside. Oh, great. How about we no let's not shoot that way let's shoot let's shoot this way yeah let's shoot this way let's just shoot this way for a second come on shoot your friend come on no no, no. there we go. yeah thank you thank you that's great good job anytime now It's for real. Not sure if this has been covered or not, but I believe you get greater range from the conduit by completing the corners. Really? Do you actually? Hey, man, thanks so much for the dono. I appreciate that. I thought that was full strength because they, they have that beautiful animation for it. I just, it, I, I don't want to hide that. We're getting range out here as the entire place that we need. So unless it like, like we don't really need to go much farther for what we're doing today. Can you just shoot your friend like two more times, please? You. Ah, thank you. There we go. Now everybody can die. Okay, inventory's full. We should go actually, you know. Why do your mobs have different animations? It's a fresh animations is the texture pack. Uh, it requires some mods to be able to function and run. Oh, the music stopped. What happened there? I looked over and the, I was like, this is a quiet song. Wow, no, it just broke. We'll go that. 
that we don't. Do 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 do. We'll keep stone and dirts in their own place, and then everything else we can just combine together. Why are you not working? No, you are. You're just quiet. And that's another quiet song. Okay. So you're saying that if I'm just like drifting around, I guess it's yeah, it's probably faster. You just don't have as precise movement. If you don't, if you don't care about getting everything, everything, you're you're probably right that this is faster. Fastister. Oh yeah, that pickup range is much bigger on a boat. Just drifting. 360. Stupid. Pleased villagers. to meet you. Brandon, no worries. Have a good one. Uh Lurai? Lur Lurai? Lurai? Thank you so much for coming to member. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, Megan, thank you so much for the five months. Hope you have a great birthday and thank you for spending it with us for a bit. Hey, of course, of course. Of course, thank you so much for the five months again. And the Briton, thanks so much for becoming a tier two member. Make sure you join the Discord if you want to get on that community server. All the stuff is handled through there. And uh, as one unfortunate person found this morning, uh, as they tried to join the Discord and then join the server and then instantly left the Discord, uh, you do have to remain in the Discord to stay on the whitelist. <laughs> just as a just as a little little note out there. What Tokyo Drift exactly? You just killed a fish! He just skewered a salmon! Homie just obliterated that salmon. This... Okay, I was like, where's this go? You're right, that's the kelp farm. Salmon didn't stand a chance! Okay, so I'm thinking we just drop this down here a little bit more, and then we're gonna have to run through and do some water updating. But this actually didn't take too long. Before we bring back in any dirt and anything like that, I do want to spend some time just... Can we stop swimming? That'd be great. I actually don't think it needs to be fully dirt. We could have... We could, we'll keep some stone patches. I want to do it. It's not going to be like an ocean floor, but it definitely is going to be a little bit more than just a, uh... We're not going to go up much past here, because who the heck knows what I'm doing with all of that. Because the, there's going to be buildings on this side, too, so it's definitely going to be coming out. And I think this whole land needs to get pushed back. But that could be later. Making fishy sticks. Exactly. Go sleepies. Uh, tier one members and up can get world downloads and resource pack. Yeah, so supporter is just for the emotes here in chat And that'll get you uh, the green name in YouTube chat and it's like for live streams and you get the little tree next to your name tier one will get you access to the world downloads and the um, texture pack releases and then From there you can get access Tier 2 gets you access to the server, and then up gets some extra bonus things on top of that, too. What day are you on? 4,600 something or another? Okay, uh, let's turn this back just a little... I kind of like the idea of having it, like, the land sticking out here so we can almost like hide a boat back in here behind things but i'm not even we're not gonna plan that for now world download is so cool it's fun, so much fun to run around in yeah i'm glad everybody has enjoyed it so much it's been cool seeing i, I did get an unfortunate message from somebody a while ago on patreon it was like hey uh i don't mean to be a bother but i joined your world and uh i was in hardcore mode and i went afk and died to a creeper how do I come back alive? <laughs> I was just like, oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the hardcore world. Welcome to hardcore Minecraft. Bam. Like 
You poor, poor individual. Um, let's go get some oak logs. I don't think we're gonna, we'll deal with the water being floating when we need to, but like this entire section down here is probably. Like the entire bottom half is probably not sword blocks. Let's see. I mean, these are all grass. This is all, so that's. Okay, that's all source blocks out here again. Um, and then we should probably do like a. I'll get most of that and then fill that in and we should be all set. Yeah, that should that should do. There might be like some up here that aren't source blocked, but we can figure that out as we're gone. Was it time is it? It's noon. Lunchtime almost, I think. Can you download Lightmatica for Forge? So what you can do is you can go to the Lightmatica page and look at the downloads. Don't just download the first one you see, but go to the downloads page and it will tell you if there's a version for Forge or not. If they all say Fabric, then there's your answer. But that, unfortunately, I do not know the answer to. I don't use Forge anymore. Okay, so that's underwater completed for now. We're definitely gonna need to do some work in there. But what I wanted to do, we're not gonna do this part today, but I do wanna show y'all kind of where I'm thinking on it. Blocky, the wonderful shipwright, the, the resident shipwright of this world, designed a, uh, nope, load, boats. There's three of them in here, I think. Yeah, so there's, Blocky designed all these boats for me and sent me the Lightmatica file. I need to split them out into their own, but I want to take the big one. I absolutely love them. They're so cool. I think the, I think the water level is here. Is that? No, the water level is definitely the bottom of the dark oak, but I want to take the big one and put it like, we're just going to do this. Oh, it's probably not going to work there. Okay, so maybe we can do the big one out here. Let's see. Do -do 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 configure. Rotate. We're just going to do a little free cam light Matica thingy -ma bob, And we can... So that guy's probably going to be plopped in like right there. Which I think would be really cool. Then I need to design a... Um, I need to design a, uh, da, 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 what would it be called? A diagonal, a diagonal boat. We have one back from building with whip and I need to make another one because I think it'd be really cool. Uh, that'll kind of sit along there. So we'll have that. So make it, make a pirate cove. We can do that somewhere in the world. I've never done a pirate theme build before. Stephanie, thank you so much for upgrading to the tier one member. I really appreciate that. But yeah, so that's going to go out there eventually. Just figured I'd show y'all. Scale is perfect too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blocky does a good job with the boats. That's my trusty light Matica stick. What about the diagonal cart? Yeah, I have not found a place for a diagonal cart in here. Okay, I'll tell you what. Food just got here, so I'm gonna run and use the restroom real quick and go grab food, and then I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, don't go anywhere. Beer bees, enjoy, enjoy vibes. Beer bees.
Ah, I was muted. I thought... For once, I clicked mute before I left. Oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. There we go. I was just like, don't worry, I'm back. It's safe. We were paused. And muted. Totally fine. <laughs> we're good. Okay. I'm actually really hungry, so I'm going to eat, and then we can chill and play games and keep going on the build and everything. We got to tear down the mountain, but... Maybe we do a small Q&A session or whatever. What do you use instead of Forge? I use Fabric. It's just a whole different mod loader instance. It's honestly a lot better. <laughs> Forge was good when it was original, but it's just so bloated now. There's so many things with it. It's just not that efficient. What is Chair's name? Chair never really got a name. This is a new chair. So old, we never really named chairs. Old chair is sitting right there, though. We see the dudes. Oh, dogs. <laughs> like, the dudes. <laughs> what are the dudes? They're hanging downstairs right now. All right, bring them in here. They're going to try to steal my food. You need enough cucumbers? I think cucumbers are yummy. Would Java be good to get? I like Java Edition of Minecraft. It's more familiar to me, but that's up to you. If you already play on Bedrock and whatnot, it's fine to keep playing on Bedrock. You plan your builds in their locations? I plan the builds and I kind of fit them into the world and terraform around them typically. You can't see the chat on screen? What do you mean? Oh, can I see what you got? Chipotle. Hey, for real. Chipotle Happy burrito. birthday, Flip. Been watching since the Nordic village and building with Flip. Ooh. Thanks Mary for the years That's of great a long content. time. I feel like I'm at the start of the Chipotle bowl where I'm like, please just stay in the bowl. Just stay in the bowl. Just like, don't fall out of the bowl. <laughs> Mary Mano, thank you so much though. I really do appreciate it. I just want to feel about Lego. Well, there's a few Legos back there, so. <laughs> You gonna do another 1,000 Days movie once you have 5,000 Days? Probably. The 4,000 Days movie did not hit very well. It actually did pretty poorly compared to everything else. So, I think we will. I think I think it'd be a good idea to do the. Honestly, the movies have been my most popular videos this summer, and they have done so much more for me than I ever thought <laughs> would happen. Um, so uh, I probably will do another 5,000 days because I think it's just like, it's easy content to make to be honest. And it seems like a lot of people really enjoy them. So we'll, we'll throw another one out. We'll throw another 5,000 days out probably and see how it lands. But are you going back to building with flip eventually? No. Um, if I ever go back to regular survival Minecraft, I'm definitely gonna be starting a new world. Building with flip was fun, but I haven't uploaded in like two years. So like purely on like a business decision, it is a very bad idea for me to go back to that series. Kind of any series. If you haven't uploaded them for a while, it's really, really risky to go back to it. Jewel, thank you so much for the five gift memberships. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank Pleased you. Pleased to meet you. And Shamal Plant, thank you so much for the two months at tier two. Finally nice to catch another one of your streams. I'm glad it was your birthday stream. Two questions, what are you eating? Uh, Chipotle. And what's the plan for the stream? We've been digging. You can see kind of above my webcam. We dug out all this and got that smooth down there. We built a little birthday party place. And then uh, I want to dig all of this hill down. Probably spend another half hour, 40 minutes just digging all that stuff out and really kind of landscaping and cleaning up the area. And then after that, I just kind of want to fly around and find some more um, treasure maps so we can get more heart hearts of the sea. But I definitely, I need a better copper drown farm start over makes sense a fresh slate yeah um if you convert a drowned into or a zombie into a drown can it drop nautilus shells on java i think the 4000 days didn't do too good because it was more recent episodes yeah maybe we also forgot to do the intro on it it just kind of got missed in the editing phase um so i think that might have affected it because the intro on the other ones was like 
hey here's how long i've survived here's this blah 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 please be sure to leave a like on this and leave it running in the background and i think honestly so many people saw that and we're like oh yeah i can do that i'll support you and it just went crazy it's your birthday today yeah today's my birthday hmm. no they're pretty sure i have to spawn holding them that's fair Ooh, spicy a spicy as we watch it more recently yeah maybe who knows i know so many creators like do the thousand days and then they put out the video like instantly but i guess that's all just like re-watching the content so probably doesn't hit as well with your audience so maybe i'll wait like 500 days and then we'll go so like we'll hit day 5500 and then we'll re we'll release the 5000 days movie There's the top stats. If there's any stats people want to see, well, let me know. I can scroll down or I can move to different pages. How much longer do you plan on streaming today? Pretty much until I get tired. I don't really have like a rhyme or reason on it. I kind of was thinking to be like a four or five hour stream, but we'll see. If people are hanging, we'll keep going. Um, if I get tired, I'll end. I don't know. See how it lands. How many times died? Zero, my friend. Vicky, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've seen you ask that a few times. Mob stats. I don't know how that happened. Those. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That's a blaze farm. We have a spot. We had an old spider farm. That needs to be more. Um, don't know how that happened. Oh, I probably needed leather. Don't know how that happened. Um, I still haven't killed the warden. I do know that much. Oglins, yeah. I need to kill more glow squid. I need a lot more glow squid ink. Don't know how that. Oh, I do. That was an arrow. Uh, I don't know about that one. That, that I can't explain. That's a raid farm in action. That's me surviving a raid so I can get the achievement Please for killing you. everything. Um, two skeleton horses. Yeah. That was an accidental. And Stray. Yeah, again, for the achievement. And Zoglin. You can see what I have farms for and what I don't have farms for. If for real, <laughs> it's like anything above a thousand. A like farm. A podcast when gaming. Yeah, Renee, I kind of do the same when having people's videos on in the background. I just like to have noise, just having some people talking. Do you make a video with Pleased a to meet you you. with Hero Brian in a world, but hardcore mode? That's yeah, not really the type of content I do. There's a lot of clickbaity YouTubers that do Hero Brian content, and that's just not mine. There's plenty of that type of stuff out there, but I don't know. That's all like roleplay stuff, and I just don't really do any roleplay videos. Have you tried the Axiom mod out? I just saw, uh, didn't Mog Swamp put a video out for that? I just saw that and it looked crazy cool. That's like Blender and Minecraft and that thing is insane. Was there a stat for Night Slept? Oh, you bet there is and it's probably pretty high. Time slept in a bed, 3,666. <laughs> I have stayed awake 1,000 nights in this world. <laughs> Bedrock doesn't have stats, but it's in the works. They only have global stats, but they don't have per world. But we're at 40.5 days. I got another eight, no, 12 hours in since last, when I posted that screenshot a few days ago. I don't really role play in empires though. If you look at how my characters run in empires, it's just me. Maybe with a different Minecraft skin, but it's just me. I tried doing some of the roleplay stuff in season one. I didn't like it. I just play as me. I build my kingdom. I make stupid jokes. That's the extent of the roleplaying. 
If you want Hargrow to be your work and your only work, why use blocky ship design as they're great as they are? I mean, at that same point, why would I use somebody else's red redstone designs? Because they're better than what I can make. <laughs> I just like an excuse to be extra chaotic, so that's my role playing. Uh, but you hate COD. I mean, yeah, they're stupid. They're only good in fish and chips. <laughs> um, I could design my own boats, but I also think what Blocky has made is really, really cool. And I also like kind of doing that as a way to like support the mods and things like that. I've thrown a little something. They give me so much and they help me with so much in the community. And if I can throw like a little build they made in the world, and I know Blocky likes seeing him in the world, and I, so I, I, I like it. Skulker's cleaned, you can drop them in a cauldron and they they lose their color. Like you can dye them, you can undo it. Yeah, we just hit 10,000 kilometers by Elytra. 10,000 ender chests open. I don't get this interaction thing because I definitely have interacted with a cartography table more than 65 times. Like I've made a lot more than 65 maps. So I guess that's like opening and closing the window. I've only played 24 note blocks. That's funny. Oh, but I, okay, I've tuned 500. That makes more sense. 600,000 jumps. We're over halfway to a million jumps. So, you know, we're getting there. Progress. Progress is being made. When do you expect to die? Hopefully another. Never. Not nether. Never. Uh, kind of a morbid question, though, you know? <laughs> okay. Do an ASMR jump stream, just boop, boop. What's those old, like, birds that you could have, a, like, people used to have on their desks that would, like, dip in water and go up and come back and dip in the water? You need one that just, like, presses spacebar. <laughs> I do find it funny that I've had the world paused. Like, this is still counting time for time with world open, even though it's paused. I've had the world paused for almost 24 days. That, to me, is crazy. The connected spruce trap doors and burst trap doors is my texture pack that I have made. You also need continuity, I believe, to make it connected. Or there's another mod that you have to use. How long have you played Minecraft? I've played Minecraft since 2011. I'm almost, I'm almost 12 years of Minecrafting. Mushroom stem. I'm guessing it's like probably less than a thousand. We got a lot up in the two thousands now. I'm like almost. I'm almost done with food too. We'll get back into Minecrafting soon. Nope, that's white terracotta. There's brown mushroom block. That's almost a thousand. So mushroom stem must be lower. Apparently I've placed 800 red shulker boxes. That can't be right. Oh no, my firework box. That's every time I've placed it. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Red mushroom, 400. We gotta be getting closer. Ah, 326 mushroom stems have been used. Kara, thank you so much for the dono and the, I'll let the, the birthday th message be read out there, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Answer would be definitely yes. I don't know whenever it'll read itself out. Uh, 50 Fina, thank you so much for those seven months, by the way. I really appreciate that and for the happy birthday message. Thank you. And also Biscuit, I missed it, but thank you so much for becoming a tier one member.
Your advice works. I got the job. Oh my gosh, Allison, congratulations. What's your least used item? There's probably a lot that are down at one. Oh my God, I spilled so much rice on me. Oopsies. It's fine. The blanket's clean. It was clean. Now it's got rice on it. <laughs> We placed 85 beacons. There we go. 31 have been left hey, in the real. world. Happy birthday to my favorite YouTuber. Birthday cake. Present. Party popper. If there is ever another mime con, would you go? There we go. We've used one lapis ore. We've used one exposed cut copper without being waxed. Um, I think so, yeah. I, I would... When they were talking about doing the Minecraft festival, I was definitely going to go. Uh, and then it got canceled from COVID. So, didn't go. Pleased to meet you. But if they do another, I'll be there. If it's in if it's in the U.S., 100%, I'll be there. If it's in Europe, most likely I'll be there. It really just depends on timing and where it lands. But I hope to. I would. That'd be so fun. I, I was so bummed I didn't get into YouTube originally or get into Minecraft originally to go to the other ones. That would have been really cool to see. Sorry. Sarah, thank you so much for the seven months. Hope you have a great day as well. I really appreciate that. Today's my birthday as well. Just turned 20. Hey, happy birthday to you too. Been watching for three years. Yeah, I appreciate that. How's the desert project going? Can't wait to experience that. I It's really cool. I'm very happy with the result. Y'all see the video tomorrow. It's turned out really, really nice. Try and guess your birthday. Uh, probably sometime this year. We'll get back to the grind soon. We gotta get food to stay energized. Yeah, uh, we'll most likely go to Minecon wherever it lands. Minecraft, I know has told us as creators that they want to do it again they're just trying to figure it out and they don't have an ETA yet but that they are actively trying to do it would you ever do a silly build challenge just for fun like make a build from some of your least favorite blocks that could be kind of a fun video challenge um but I don't know. I feel like that's such a miss for like my style of content. But also maybe it could be a fun like one-off video. Who knows? We will see. Real name, Flip. Last name, Flip. Flip, Flip. You do another world tour at 6,000 days? Yeah, I'll do a world tour every 1,000 days or so and throw it on the second channel. Or every 10 videos. Every 10 videos is world world tour and world download. How's Marcos doing? Seems to be good. I was chatting with him a little bit yesterday. We were talking about video stuff. But he doesn't have to deal with me for the rest of the week, so. That's going to make his life a little bit easier. <laughs> What do you mean Microsoft will not allow it? They're the bosses and the baddies behind all the nonsense. That is like the biggest fake news take ever. Why would, first of all, they owned Minecraft before Minecraft Festival was gonna be a thing. So your dates are already wrong there. They were already gonna do it when Microsoft owned them. Two, they're pretty hands off. <laughs> like. They're really hands off on the route that the updates go and things like that. They're Microsoft, you think like Microsoft execs are over there being like, hmm, Minecraft, you know what? You should add the sniffer. They're and Minecraft over there is like, what's a sniffer? And they're like, I don't know. My the son of the exec said he wanted a sniffer in Minecraft. Figure out what it is and add it. That's not how things happen. <laughs> That's not how things happen at all. <laughs> 
So, I don't know. That's one of those things. Microsoft is not bad. They used to me they're, too. They're not... Why would they buy something and actively try and ruin it? I don't get why everybody just assumes that because Minecraft got bought by Microsoft that they're, like, actively trying to kill the game. Who would spend a billion dollars on a video game and then try and ruin it? I just... That... that I just never understand people's mindset behind that. They're... Everybody lashes on to, like, the idea that, like, these big companies buy these games with the idea to ruin them. Sure, they might turn into something where they can, they have to make a profit somehow. Like, it's a business. But, <laughs> I don't know. True, Elon Musk did it because, he didn't want to, though. He got forced to because he couldn't keep his mouth shut. And so he got legally forced to buy it. That's why he bought it. He decided to uh, talk too much on Twitter about jokingly buying Twitter. And then as soon as it turned into be a real thing, he was like, Haha, no, I'm not doing that. That's stupid. And then didn't he was getting sued by Twitter for the valuation that they lost. And it turned out to be more profitable for him just to buy it than to pay them the value that they lost. Working with Microsoft for a living, I'd say Microsoft like to play it safe. They don't like rocking the boat. Yeah. If Microsoft is going to buy something, from me being a previous Microsoft employee too, um, they're not going to be out there just actively going to ruin it. That's kind of dumb to think that. Okay. One more bite. Then we'll go. Hmm. Love your hardcore world more than you. More than I love my world, do you love the world more than you love me? Hopefully you the first one. Because the latter is a little weird. Hysterical me that he had to buy it. Yeah. The fact that he changed the name literally makes me think that he's actively trying to kill the company. <laughs> what was it, like 20 billion in brand value lost by him changing the name? Okay. We're back at it. We got digging to do. Swizzle, thank you so much for the six months. What do you think about Patreon sub, YouTube or Patreon? Pick whichever you like the most. I, I understand I get a better split of revenue off of Patreon than I do off of YouTube. It's not much though. And I almost prefer YouTube because then you all can be in the live stream and I like to see all the green names and everybody having the emotes and everything like that so i kind of tend to lean towards just drop a, a, a sub or a membership on youtube if you are considering supporting because i think you get more out of it for like the active time being here because you get all the benefits you get from it being a patreon sub and then you also get access to all the emotes during the live stream so for me i think that's that's pretty cool so i i personally would do that Most art. And you get a silly little tree. There's no silly little tree on Patreon. If there was a way to have a Patreon sub show in chat like orange or something. Yeah, if they did integrations like that, that'd be really cool. I don't think they would though, because that'd be a dangerous territory of like, why can't my Twitch sub show in here? And YouTube's like, we make more money off of your Twitch subs or anything. Well, they make no money off your Patreon subs, too, but... <clears throat> I know YouTube takes a cut, so obviously they're going to prioritize what they would get the cut off of off of their platform, not supporting other platforms so, so they don't get it. Thankfully, in Discord, we can control that and give people ranks. I was so worried, still a little worried, when Discord... Uh, announce their own membership thing that they're gonna kill like the integrations with patreon and things like that and thankfully they weren't dumb enough to do that <laughs> discord has had a lot of like bad moves recently but they haven't had any that that bad dirt too loud I 
I gotta keep the sound up a little, otherwise creepers could get me, you know. Speaking of which, chess piece on. Gotta be able to hear the footsteps. The creeper toes. You always gotta listen out for the creeper toes. Voice is a little quiet. I'm just chilling today. <clears throat> Didn't want to be in full... Full streamer mode, two hours in, I'm like, my voice is dead, I need to leave now. And then I can't talk. <laughs> so we're just chilling. Okay. This is, the reason why I'm starting over here and tearing it down from this side is uh, we're going to need to really start sloping this down. Because if we just take that corner off, we're going to have this huge cliff. And I think this kind of sloping down too be a much better way to have it. Kill hangout time. Blown away by the fact that they do have toes now, right? Who would have thought? Any plans for Friday's stream? We'll probably work over in the desert, just kind of working on some new things. I honestly haven't even started the next video yet. I know roughly what I want to do. It's going to be themed around camels. That is as far as I've gotten. And I hope that sounds entertaining. <laughs> because uh, that's 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 where the idea currently ends. Camels. It is almost nighttime. Where's my bed? Ah, right behind me. Could a creeper one shot you even with netherite? Uh, so if you have three pieces of prop four armor, like if you're, if you have prop four, prop four, prop four, a creeper can one shot you if they are right in your face. But if you have one piece of blast protection four, you are safe from creepers. So I typically, if I, and it also, if you're looking at the math of how armor works, there's diminishing returns, which means that the more you have, the less effective each level is. So technically, your max effectiveness you're going to get, like for full value, is three pieces of prop four. You sure you get a little bit more value out of having the fourth piece of prop four, but not as much value as you get of, say, having like a blast protection four. So I always have blast protection on my legs and then everything else I put prop four on. Keeps me safe from creepers. I might take a little bit more damage from zombies or skeletons and things like that. But it's one of those where I think chance of death, for me, just because of how much damage you can negate simply by eating food, I feel pretty safe with having one piece dedicated just to just prevent random totem popping from too. creeper explosions. That's how I play it. I know some people swear by the four pieces of Black Prop 4, but I'm like, eh. Not, not me. When you drop a new video tomorrow, Thursdays, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Oh, we don't have beacon buff. Oh no, where's beacon buff? We're so close. How do I not have a beacon buff? Stupid game. What are we like 51 blocks? What about projectile protection? That's only arrows. <laughs> and I feel like it's one where like, maybe if you're raid doing a raid, like against pillagers, that would be better. Like if you're fighting off a pillager raid, that's better than using blast protection because there's no explosions unless it turns to nighttime. But also at the same time, like, I don't know. I, I think arrows, they don't do a whole lot of damage. If you're in PVP, blast pro or projectile protection, huge value, huge value. Because arrows in PVP do a lot of damage to you. But from like a random skeleton, they really don't do that much. So, if you're unarmored, sure. But having the base armor and protection four still helps with that. Protection four like helps everything. So protection four is just like, you just have more armor. It's just a little bit bonus armor on top of everything else you have. Whereas the other ones are only on their certain categories. So they're better for that category. But I don't know. It's one of those where I'm like, yeah, it's projectile could be worth it. There are scenarios where it's good. But those scenarios, I typically don't play the game. Like that's that's not how I play the game, so it's not that useful to me. 
that makes sense. Okay, we need to get all this out, and then we're gonna we're gonna do some little running back and forth, get our beacon buff, and come back. <clears throat> what about different armory setups and an armory where you have different colors for each set? I I kind of wanted to do a new set for the desert i kind of want to get some like gold trim or like some emerald trim for the desert and just run that i think it'd be kind of fun that way we have something a little bit unique you know like when we're in the different zones we can have a different netherite armor trim i just wish there's if there were a bill you could put a banner on elytra oh that'd be so fun i was so surprised that the all the armor customization things that they added and they're like yeah elytra unless you have a cape still just purple just ugly <clears throat> how about using tnt i kind of prefer to just mine by hand if i'm doing this type of stuff tnt i don't really see as that much faster I don't know if it's just a me thing, but in like how slow I am with placing TNT, but every time I use it, I'm like, yeah, that got me, that like just caused more work because now I have to go in between everything and figure out where to clean all up the stuff up that the TNT left in the sky. <laughs> Sharpness for swords is good. Um, second is smite. Smite is actually really good for swords. Uh, Bane of Arthropods, not important. Spiders, unless you're fighting an army of poison spiders, really are Keep not that real. strong. And even at that point, you can jump crit and kill them with sharpness. I know a lot of... I like to keep smite on my axe, so that if I do need to one-shot a zombie or a pig, or like a zombie piglin or something like that that's in the way without... Because if you can one-shot a zombie piglin, they don't have the ability to send the aggro chain out, because they're not alive to like alert their friends basically so you can use that as a way to just get rid of them instantly but you do have to one shot them uh so i i keep smite on the axe for that i know some people like to keep smite on their swords just in case the chance of death of if you get boxed in by a lot of zombies is is pretty high but i i, I think sharpness is fine with sweeping edge how do you get motivation after getting god armor and tools well god armor is not possible to get anymore without cheats so uh i don't have god armor <laughs> um i've maxed out armor but for me that's just a armor is just a tool to d play the game faster and better that's that's the way i think about it if you're if your whole purpose of playing the game is getting armor and doing that type of stuff maybe you give yourself challenges on how to get it faster how to get different ways how to collect different armor sets and things like that but for me i that type of stuff is just like a chore to get so i can play the game better like it's i me getting armor is like not the it's not like a final product for me i play this game to build armor just means that i can build and do things more safely and quicker i tend to use axes most unless you have a horde coming at you and it comes a sword with sweeping edge yeah i i definitely see that Axes are just too slow and I'm impatient. I, I find I, I find that with axes I click them too fast. <laughs> Honestly. Most of it with axes is me just like I'm over here just like I'm like in my brain is the sword timer. Like I, I've mentally just like got the timing down for swords and I was never able to get it for axes. So I always click them too quick so I don't get the full damage. Could have extra challenge to a lot of trims and stuff now. Yeah. If you want a forever project that so many hardcore YouTubers have said that they've done, but in reality, I would love to see their diamond mine stats um, and their netherite mine stats. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, you could go get all the armor trips of every single variety and all that stuff. And then if you really want to be cool, you can also do it with the turtle helms. Because somehow every single hardcore YouTuber that's been doing it forgets about turtle helmets. I don't know about you all, but that sounds a little fishy. We're forgetting about the fish. I think it's because it wasn't easy to get in the armor tab in the creative menu, but that's just me. Do 
Duel, is that the reasoning why they didn't do a life choice? I've never heard, but also like it's fabric. <laughs> I guess it's a phantom membrane is how you repair it. So they'd have to have something. But that's still like a leather, like a phantom membrane still is like, if you look at their wings, they seem like a leathery bat wing. Like that could be, that could be something. That could be turned into something. Even doing that in creative mode would take forever. Oh my God. Yeah, no, laying them all out in creative. That's when you need a command blocks to make it even easier. Also the, my first thought about that, cause they always have them on the stairs, just looking at a side. I'm like, how much lag do you get from all of those armor stands? Like all of those armor stands, you know, that your world has to be lagging so much with all of them. time for and release the video yeah i think he seems to be somebody who does it legit he i i don't watch his videos but what i've heard about him is that he seems to really take his time on videos and does it the legit way one of those where like i wish more people would do things legit just because it makes it harder for the people who do like take the time to do it all legit and everything like that the amount of people i get accusing me of cheating and everything like that it just it's so much it's so much. So, I mean, the more people who are out there cheating just makes it harder for me because trying to keep up with their content when they're just creative mode adding everything they possibly can into the game. Which also I get, like there's some people who like put out these crazy videos with all this really insane stuff happening. Like, I, I know one must streams a lot of his stuff, right? I believe he streamed doing... I, I looked at his page, because one but if you haven't seen it, he had an insanely cool video recently. That dude took the editing to the next level. That was... That was really cool to see. And I think he streams a lot, but I was, like, scrolling through the comments on there, because I was like, there's no way people think he did this legit. Like, there's absolutely no way. And there's so many people in the comments just flaming him for, like creative mode and blah 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 and i'm like you realize that like a lot of the building of the thing was streamed <laughs> like, like you can go look at his channel page and do two minutes of research to find that he actually did live stream and the live streams are there yeah we still got 300 we're good thank you though we're I'm pleased to meet there. you but if you haven't seen uh one buzz recent video building the black hole it's it's worth the watch the editing alone he did a really good job this like the storytelling and all of it very impressive Will I ever be doing that grand of a video? No way in hell, but it was cool to watch. Flip your pickaxe. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, Moss Jurassic, thanks so much for the six months. I really appreciate that. Also, I missed it earlier. Wicked Stacy, thanks so much for the dono. And Rise, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, the pickaxe is fine. It's 240 durability. We got time. If there's still red in it with netherite, you are you can keep going. So when the netherite has no, it's just a black bar. When's your next hardcore video? Tomorrow. See if that works through your schedule. If not, I can delay it. Thursdays is typically hardcore Minecraft day for me. I gotta turn the sound up just a little. It's like a little eerie quiet. We'll keep it there. What happened to flip resource pack? What do you mean? What do you mean what happened to my resource pack? If you're looking at the one on Curse Forge, that is an old download and uh, it's not public anymore. I don't release any resources, resource packs publicly. these shulkers we got we can do one more 
one more load actually no we'll go drop him off now i'm just gonna pause we can go drop him off and then come back how often do you post i usually post one maybe one and I, I like to say i post one and a half videos a week typically i'm like i want to get weekly hardcore videos that's like a big thing for me that i want to get back into um or just do and then outside of that i try and post uh every other week is when i try and post an smp video doesn't always happen i am taking a little bit of a break from new life right now uh and then i'll i'll be back on there soon most likely i don't know when the break's gonna end quite yet but yeah just so y'all are aware i am taking a little bit of a break from that one i was just getting a little burnt out and i don't want to over overly kill it so i wanted to just give it some time to to wait before i started ramping back up to do it again do i have a clay i do have clay <laughs> do a project ideas video i have like six of those on the channel if you need to go look at them is new life going to slow with pirates starting i'm not on pirates so i don't know um i hope not but i also don't know i did not hear about pirates at all until it launched so i got no information on it not a series that I am in. Not here and here. We have so many chests of stone. Perfect. Hey, for real. I really Happy gotta figure out something to do. With your hardcore world gives me so much art inspiration d hey thank you so much uh, decomposed carrot lovely name lovely name thank you so much for the donor i appreciate that and thank you for the happy birthday message N enjoy hope you enjoy creating whatever it is that you're working on that is everything perfect and then let's go drop the ores back up top and i need to throw that pickaxe back in a shulker too you want to join my hardcore world? No, I got you. You got your hardcore world. You're kicking butt over there. You don't. You don't need me in there. Also, I got my own projects. I don't. I don't really have too much time. When we finish the mountain, I guess we do have the stone for that. We got all the stone we could ever need to build that mountain now. All I there. All sixteen of those side double chests are full. <laughs> They're all full. So, we do we do have that. Boop 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 boop. Okay, let's do it. We get back to dig. We dig more now. A shulker blob. I know, I know. It's not good. It's not my best moment. It's for real. Why not build the Bedouin tent camp as a temp base of operations while you build your desert up? It fits with the lower progression of founding the place. That's true. I kind of like going off the idea that the society has existed there, but we just obviously because I have to build it being in Minecraft, it's not going to be pre-built being in this as a building world. I like the idea of that like we're basically too. discovering what is there, but it's been there for longer than i have been there to build the place if that makes sense so like this place here like sure i have my little starter house and we've been expanding and everything like that and kind of growing it but the idea i'm going with is that it's been here for a long time and that basically i'm just like discovering all of it as it's kind of being built i guess would be the lore behind it but like this whole world is here like it's it's this world has been here it's not like i'm the one creating everything it's we're, we're building like a fantasy world with like different races and civilizations and whatever that would be like the dwarves in the cave have been helping the people up above for a long long time and everything like that so 
I think a little tent or something to live out of on like the city outskirts could be fun regardless though. So Jack, thank you so much for the dono again. I really appreciate that. Second dono, you actually had one in there earlier. I think I forgot to read that. And Francisca, thank you so much for the five months. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Field. Oh, but the field in the next video is already done and it's really special. You all will see. Actually, we built it last stream. You already have seen it. We built it on stream. <laughs> we got that already. Rune Bunny, thank you for the dono. Do you just go get it? It's a real. I might not read through. I don't know. Uh, everybody said the Mew in Scarlet slash Violet is level five. There you go, everybody. Did you just go get the Mew? I feel like I'm mostly just in that game to like collect the Pokemon at this point. But I did read that the Mew uh, will be like once you get in into battle with Mewtwo, once the Mega Raid or whatever it is from Mewtwo comes in, that the Mew is gonna just like get stronger. Like, he's just going to, like, have, like, a super Saiyan mode of just gets super, super strong only when he's fighting against Mewtwo. So you got it. You got it. If you're a big Pokemon fan, you probably already know that before I knew that. But you got to get your Mew leveled up to fight Mewtwo. Are you destroying the mountain? Because I want to open up the river more. Is the idea. So I'm thinking we can kind of start. We have this here. We can kind of start like sloping it downwards. But I don't want to spend. I don't want to tear it all down. I want it to have it be like a, a slope coming in. Probably finishing up like two or three blocks above the water level, to be honest. We can have a little bit of a ridge. I don't know what we're gonna do out here eventually. I'll probably somewhere put like a drawbridge across the river. Like a drawbridge down at that point or something, like coming across, and then you can have like a pathway coming here. So maybe we'll have some more houses. It could be more like a little farm section or like city outskirts, or it could be like a, a manor house, like a big fancy house with like a little vineyard or something, or like a fancy garden area behind it. But I feel like with this being like very industrial shipping, maybe some small docks on this side of the stuff and we can have like the a small, like this could be like the slums area. It's just out in the middle of the lake. Like that could be kind of fun too. New to Diablo 4, got any tips? Oh dude, uh, go, go look on, you just gotta go find some guides to read up on for like builds and things like that. Or honestly, better yet, just experiment and have fun. I think if I was going into it fresh, I would just kind of whatever legendaries I find, I would try and see like, ooh, could I could I like use this as a build to make my character stronger? I think that could be fun. But a big thing I would recommend, like keybinds wise, there's you can bind force move to a key instead of just left click to move around. And binding force move to a key will keep you alive. <laughs> I use that as my middle mouse click. So like when you click the scroll wheel down, and that that helps me stay alive so much to be able to like instantly move to walk out of things. But have fun. The game's fun, but like man, it's in a little bit of a rough state right now. I hope the devs are able to fix it sooner than later. Good night. Good night, Julie. Fishing Harbor. I think like a few little like 
like a big like local fishing section for all the fishermen that just like are just here like it's just all little river boats because i think the plan if we were to draw a line i think the plan where do we i'm gonna just free game this why not i think we take a line from where i am here and do like let's let's do this let's take this as a line all the way across and everything outside of this is going to be stepping down to water so the bay will be bigger let's let's work on that now before we get too distracted with that side over there let's actually like finish the expansion for the bay and get like the first layer of water across the top build one of the giant ship of the lines but not really fitting i i do have where we've been chopping birch trees constantly and like gathering up the birch leaves clearing out that forest i kind of want to turn that into like a coastal town and that'll be the mouth of the river to be honest that would stretch all the way back here so i think purely for like functionality purposes those giant ships would not come all the way in this way this would be more like trade ships that would be coming up and down the river so we don't need like the super big ocean going ships which is kind of why that one that I showed earlier that Blocky made is like the perfect size for this. Because it's something that can maneuver enough through a river, but still is kind of on the big, fun, grand side. Write an entire novel in two days. Sounds like my wife. <laughs> she has been reading like crazy recently. Anytime she can just like sit down and pick up a book, she's just devouring them. How about a river barge? Yeah, we'll probably have something like that. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we bring this down pretty sharp. Like, we'll just kind of keep this as a flat line for now. Because so I think, like, a little cliff or something could be kind of fun. Who knows? Maybe we'll have it, like, stepping down a little. I have a little sharper on that front side. And then this could be a little bit more gradual over here. I don't know. We'll come back and re-terraform it all later. This is literally just setting a base shape. How do you build boats? Uh, not well. I'm trying to get better, but... It's one that I just, like, never really ever, like, watched people build ships. And I've never really, like, s like tried long enough to really figure it out. I will say using some of the designs Blocky has made has helped me, f like, get a lot better ones myself. So that's been pretty fun to work on. Let me kind of figure those out. Forming time. Whee! Everything go brrrr. Can you make a video years ago seeing any video, like looking at older videos? I don't understand what you're saying. Just join what happened. I left when you were destroying ground underwater near City Dock, near, near Conduit. Uh, well, we destroyed that. That's all down there. And now we're destroying. This section here from there kind of coming down it was like a big cliff but I want to open up the river more so we're gonna bring this line that we're creating now is where we're gonna be extending the river out I'm actually gonna I think this will look a little bit better we're doing a little bit of terraforming today just trying to get this cleaned up I and mean, if we got some more time after I actually would love to go look for some more hearts of the sea I'm kind of stealing pixarif's idea from empire season one and using those thank you kindly happy almost 30. prophecy sloth thank you so very much i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you for the dono hope you're doing well today my friend hope you're doing well did the music break again i don't know why my spotify keeps breaking is it no it's not it's fixed it's just a very quiet part of the song. We make a video reacting to older foot videos. It could be kind of fun. I don't react content to me is so weird. It's not really content I watch, but I also understand that so many people watch it. But then I'm also like, ooh, I don't know. 
I feel like that could be something more fun to like do on stream and watch it together and then like post that to the second channel. Kind of like how Jimmy does his his reacts. So I don't know. I've thought about doing that, but I haven't obviously done anything. Also, my old videos are just like cringe. They're just like, ugh. like I did the what I was doing. I was, what did I say? Quit breaking music. I don't know what it is. It's only the stream playlist. And it's, I guess that's the only Spotify playlist I have of like music that I have on my computer. Everything else is just Spotify fed in um, from like their servers. But like this, for some reason, just uh, does not like me sometimes. Okay, we're getting down there. Let's clear this off. there everything everything else beyond this is pretty much just going to go straight into the water yeah okay perfect sweet Andy. Hey, you know, I gotta, gotta fund my retirement somehow, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so I had this really cool idea for a video where I watched this other video of somebody playing with super ultra realistic Minecraft graphics. I don't know if anybody's done it before. I think I, I, think I might give that a shot. Have you ever gone so tuned in on a task where you have broken netherite tools? Unfortunately, a few times. I think I've lost two pickaxes and, a sh and one shovel in this world. Which, especially now, it's it's so much more dangerous to lose one. Oh my gosh, before I was like, all right, I have to go get four ancient debris. Fine. To replace that one. Now it's like, well, I need four ancient debris. I need another at upgrade template, which also means that I need seven diamonds. And I also need another another at upgrade template. So hopefully I didn't lose the last one. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Are the doggos? They're good. They've been good. They're a little bummed that we keep going out to go see people, so they have to stay at home in their little boxes. But they have, they're, they're fine. They're good. I think they're enjoying the weather being a little cooler this week. They're like, we're not dying from heat, yay. Which heat for them is like anything above 70. Build a whaling station in the industrial district, yeah. could we could Celestia thanks so much for the dono it for real have you ever tried to texture builds with different types of ores like not just stone cool ore uh I've done iron ore a few times as like a highlight to the top of buildings almost like where I have that coal ore right up there uh but I feel like it adds like a such a brighter tone to builds, so it stands out a lot more. But I, I could probably do it more often. A lot of my builds I make are really on like the darker side, especially recently. I really go for that like high contrast. Whatever I'm doing, I seem to like pick the base color. Then I'm like, what can I do that makes it dark? Like, how can I make it a little darker? Like all the grime and grunge in there is just darker. Hey, read this. Okay. Uh, 
obviously, I, I'll, I'll read that, but I'm not going to answer the question, because if you're just spamming at me, hey, read this, you, you haven't heard me answer that question six times in the last ten minutes, so that's not my fault. That's on you, boo-boo. Instead of being so focused on getting your question answered, and you could have already had it answered if you're listening to the responses of other people's questions. Yeah, I find it just gets a little bright. I would love to start working with some more things like that. I want to start experimenting with more color palettes, I think. I, I'm definitely still in my add color just for the sake of adding color build phase, which has been fun. Um, uh, next to Amazon Rainforest type, Snowy Eskimo type. Yeah, th both those would be really cool to try. I really do want to one day again do like a full on snow area. I I really want to like develop a transition from like we have pretty much our plains in here with like a slight taiga vibe and then I want to go into like a true taiga where like most of the terrain is made out of like path blocks. And then we have like dirt spots and a few grass spots thrown in to really texture that. I think could be really, really cool, like a highlands plateau type environment. We can have a lot of like mountain flowers and things like that around. That could be really fun. Um, but after that, I'm like, I, then I want to go into like the snow. So like getting into a snow area, I really don't like how Minecraft just transitions. Like here's a line. Snow was not on the other side, but somehow snow is here. Look at that. And so I. I kind of have a hard time with that. I like the world to feel pretty cohesive. So whether that's a height change or something for when you have a biome transition, unless it, there either needs to be a forest in between it or something. Oh, excuse me, sorry. What's this island, island for? Pretty much exactly what we did right here. Just opening it up underwater. <laughs> wanted to make river big so here we are making river big excuse me sorry about the sneeze okay we can do this and then we'll take it all down from there because this can kind of just be like more naturally sloping down honestly it'd be pretty cool to have like a gravel bank or something on it you prefer medieval or desert type builds? Uh, I kind of keep them both within like the medieval fantasy theme for it, but I definitely am more comfortable with like the city build style that we're doing in here. But I'm really excited for the challenge that we're gonna get out of the the desert. I think I think it'll be a really fun one. It'll be a good time. 19th century. I typically kind of stop at early industrial era so i guess 19th century can fit that pretty much the most um modern building i'll do is kind of the build style we have on new life right now i feel like i just live around all that type of stuff I'm obviously more recent because i'm in west coast of the us so there's not super old buildings here but just I don't know. I like to create something that I wouldn't see driving around. I want to build a mangrove stump that every time I try to get overwhelmed, I will do it one day. Dude, everybody, when we were talking Empire Season 2, was like, I want to build in a mangrove swamp. I want to build in a mangrove swamp. And then finally we decided Shelby was going to be the one who builds in a mangrove swamp because we only could find a seed with one mangrove swamp. Um, and we're like, all right, whatever. She has got a cool idea of being a witch and wants frogs and whatnot. And like that, that'd be perfect for her to have the mangrove swamp. Like that's the one that applies the most. And then <laughs> at the end of the season, she was just like the amount of mangrove trees and hours I had to spend clearing mangrove trees. I never want to do it again. She was like, well, 
You all were fighting over who's going to build in that biome, and looky here. <laughs> I was laughing a bit because I, I was one of the only people who was like, don't put me anywhere near that mangrove swamp. I do not want to be there at all. That is not what I want to be building in. And everybody else was like, I want it. Me, it's the new thing. And I was just like, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, hence the overwhelm. Yeah. <laughs> I get that 100%. There's a big reason why I never bothered. I was like, I'll get my frogs and I'm outie. I want to start putting more mobs in places. I need to go get some frogs. We need to go get some buckets of tadpoles soon. I really need like a frog breeding area just so I can let some loose. Slum would fit amazing here. Yeah, I think it could work. But I'm also on the side of like... The world that I'm building here is very much like a happy utopia. So I don't know how much I want to put of like... Strife and like... Different classes and things like that. Sure, we have the castles, but most of the castles I build are more for like the defense levels instead of being like somebody ruling over somebody else i guess we kind of have we have like the town hall which was a manor but it like revamped it into a town hall so it's no longer somebody living there but instead it was a whole community of people are able to use the space um i don't know we'll see we'll see i definitely do at some point want to build a palace but i think the palace is going to be for me so that's fine I am the overseer of this world. And if I have if anybody gets a palace, I get a palace. Thank you for the happy birthdays. Make a trash area like a landfill. Yeah. Medieval times didn't really have trash areas like that though. Too much. Oh, how's that getting that's weird. The boar just kind of chucked it out into the river and let it flow. Stream glitch? Did it? The dark part? I think that was in the game. Just make sewers. Yeah, we kind of did prep it enough so that this place could have sewers. I remember trying to do the building with Whip City and add in the sewers, and I was like, oh, these are coming out underneath. Like, we're, we're under this, we're under the ocean water level. That's not going to work, because that means the ocean water would just come in here. Instead of the sewage, go out there. You have all the achievements? I haven't gotten the advancements from 1.20 yet, but we had everything before. What am I still missing? Uh, adventure... Uh, apparently I have not used the power of books. The end is done. Husbandry, we have two more. Oh, I need to breed camels. We'll get that next episode. Um, nether, we've got everything. Yeah. These are all like extra ones from like, oh, there's the invisible item frames, the eight bit monkeys item frame. Uh, and then data packs we got. Yeah, invisible item frames. And there's some other... I don't know. I don't like when the data packs add their own advancement tabs. like, And they all add a different one. I'm like, no, stop. Uh, J-Boss, thank you so much for the dono. I'm kind of waiting for that to read itself out. I've heard about the mod. I haven't looked into the functionality of it quite yet. It be real. The new Axiom mod, still in beta but usable, has a great biome blend change feature that you were looking for. Should def check it out. Yeah, I I would love to do stuff like that, but I feel like that and that and building with Whip was okay. Like that to me, in building with Whip, I was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the biome here. Like this is my survival world, and I want it to look this way, and I'm okay with doing little few things like that. But I think the second that I say, okay, so in this hardcore Minecraft world, I'm gonna just change, I'm gonna do things that require creative mode to change biomes and do blah, 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 blah. 
That to me, I feel like I would lose a lot of the audience. So I'm kind of looking for solutions that are just resource pack powered that would be able to do it just as a client side thing, but it's not affecting the game. But thank you so much for the donor. I do appreciate it. I'm so excited for that Axiom mod. I don't know if I'm going to jump it on the beta just because I, I don't know. I'm lazy. Um, too much stuff going on to really mess around with things. Make an industrial city somewhere. I got an industrial district in my city. Look at that. Look how industrial that is. There's fire and stuff. There's old brick factory up there. Industrial. Yeah. Industry. I was just watching Germ play around with it, and it's miles better than World Edit. Oh, gosh, yeah. No, World Edit, uh, after Axiom gets, like, fully released, is gonna be gone. <laughs> I think it's one where the World Edit, World Edit devs might just be like, yep, nope, you guys made a better product. <laughs> like, we concede. <laughs> it's insane. The fact that they basically just brought Blender into Minecraft. Like block bench and all that type of stuff is really cool and imagine you could just do that directly in your minecraft game i mean granted you can't make custom models and things with it but like those schematic saving and loading and everything oh my gosh it's crazy it's really cool that would be something i'd be like all right with this i could be interested in creative like a creative minecraft world again like that could be really cool i think i'm gonna use it for like landscaping and then um, like just try and do that stuff and then like bring it into the game here. I think that type of, that's the way I kind of picture using it. Just making like a super hyper realistic mountain or something like that. And then bringing it in game would be cool. I've never contended with World Edit. Yeah, world edit's kind of weird. There's so many commands you have to memorize. I used to be so good at it. Oh my gosh, I knew so, I knew so many of the world edit commands just by heart, and I just had them all memorized. I could use them and just like make things so quickly. And now I'm just like, how does one make sphere? How how, how does one make sphere? I don't know. The only thing I use in world edit right now is like the walls command. That is great. And then I use the, um, what's gonna call it? Uh, like the replace block commands. Pretty much all I bother with. Yeah. Mog did a great job of pointing it out in his video where he was like, yeah, you can use world edit. And then to find the one command you need, you need to scroll through a 70 page document looking for the command, hoping that it exists. Whereas Axiom, it's all in the UI. Like it's all in game. You don't, the fact that world edit and like go brush and voxel sniper and blah, 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 all those things, like you have to go out of game to figure out how to use them. Bringing that all in game and make it all accessible within the world itself instantly just so much better that's just a million times better yeah on a lot of the boats we'll build we'll we'll do different flags and symbols and whatnot on them for like the mass and the like the front pieces and whatnot make it look like they're coming from different places it's so like once we get the desert area built up a little bit more i do want to build a harbor out there i think most of the desert town is actually going to be on the harbor I, I i feel like the idea of like a desert town like on the edge of the ocean and we can kind of make that a little bit more lush and everything in there just sounds fun instead of just like smack in the middle of a desert that's one thing i always like didn't like about papyrus the original desert city was it was just like one the biome was tiny that i was in that desert was so small that like <laughs> i had filled pretty much the entire desert with the city and then everything around it is like an oak forest or a birch forest or a savanna and i'm like this is my desert city woo so i think if we do it on the edge of the ocean and then it can very very easy be like yeah this is the desert city and everything in front of it is ocean everything behind it 
it's the it's all desert like everything you see over there's desert i think it's really cool i'm so ready for axiom to render edit potentially oh render world edit potentially useless i'm so tired of it yeah hey thank you very much happy birthday hope you're doing well today grazi grazi you're the one rebuilding breath of the wild right or am i thinking of somebody else I feel like I've seen your thumbnails a lot. I definitely recognize your name. I'm just trying to remember which part I'm placed it, placing it with. Apologies if I, if I was misspoken there. Hmm. Okay, I think this is the last level we need to take it down to. Everything below here is deep enough in the water that it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's him. Okay, perfect. never played Breath of the Wild, so I don't know too much about it, but it's a cool project. Right, we're just gonna leave this here. That's been me, been on it for like half a year, like a year and a half now. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, that anytime you're picking on that big of a project, and I remember at one point I was like, I'm gonna rebuild all of Skyrim, like back when I was originally starting on YouTube. I made the map in World Painter and got like all that set up and like it, it looked good. I had a good map and then as soon as that, I didn't even publish the first video. I was like, nope. <laughs> I I was like flying around the map trying to figure out where I was going to start. And I was like, nope, we're just going to keep this as a personal project. Have I rebuilt the world of Skyrim? <laughs> but I am not bringing this anywhere else. <laughs> I'm still pretty happy I didn't because there's no way I would have finished any of that. Okay, speaking of finishing, I think that's all this stuff done. Well, underwater, we still have the top stuff that we haven't destroyed yet. But that's good for underneath here. Because once we get that all textured, a lot of that will become like dirts and cobblestones and whatnot. Yeah, that was back when I was mostly a creative Minecrafter. We might eventually tone this section back in so that this can come out a little bit more and have more space for buildings but maverick i appreciate the invite but i'm not looking to join any smps right now i barely manage the one i'm on yeah no this will work okay we just gotta keep going we're almost there. We're getting there. Woo. Digging. So much, so much digging. Also, just as a heads up, if you are looking for small content creators to start an SMP with, I can guarantee that if you're not friends with them before you start recording your server and everything like that, it will fail. Like your your chance of success if you're starting an SMP not with your friends is so much lower than starting with your friends. And I understand if you're like, well, no, none of my friends play Minecraft, so how do I do that? Join a server without being without recording. Just like join a server and just like get, become friends with people on there, and maybe record your own side, and then and then. Once you become friends with people on the server, you can be like, hey, have you ever thought about like starting a YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. And then that's how you find your friend group to get started with. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with so many people who are like, yeah, I'd love to be a YouTuber. That sounds great. We gotta move the beacon. Definitely need to move this. Actually, I also almost left all these blocks behind. My blockies. Get in there. Actually, true words. <laughs> yep, 
yeah the, the amount of smps that pop up where people are like oh, we're making an smp for small creators usually as the person starting it is like yeah if i make an smp for all these other people their viewers will come watch me but or everybody's like yeah we'll get we'll all share our viewers and everything but then like if you're not friends with each other it's not going to be a good ex viewing experience because it's going to feel very forced and artificial and like you can meet new people in the process you don't have to be best friends with everybody like i didn't know um when i joined x life i don't know that everybody on there i knew i knew a few people like i knew scott and G uh jimmy and then like i didn't know lizzie or joel or any of those others on there and then i got to know them through being on the series but having mutual friends helps with having a mutual interest and like being able to be like oh no this person's cool like scott's friends with whip okay so whip's probably a decent guy let's move the beacon oh i need another iron ingot i used my last one it's looking pretty good though look at that look oh that's actually really good oh that's so much bigger in there oh, i love that that's so much more open his smp not your not the groups <laughs> that is that is the biggest red flag right there i don't know that's that's the whew. leave right away because if it's successful they're gonna claim all of the credit and if it fails they're gonna point it all on you <laughs> and that sounds like a great healthy relationship to have right yeah <laughs> How long have you known the Empire's members? Like, smallish beans and... Jimmy, I've known for longer. Um, Joel, I met on X-Life. Most of them I've known from, like, 2018. Something like that. 2018, 2019, I think. Whenever X-Life started is when I met most of them. Uh, Jimmy, Sausage, and I have known each other since pretty much we started YouTube. Um, I met Sausage before I had 100 subscribers on YouTube and at the time he had like 800 900 maybe because I remember messaging him and be like dude you hit a thousand subscribers that's so cool congratulations um, and that was way way back in the day so we knew each other pretty we've Sausage and I have known each other forever um, I met Jem when I had like 40k subs or something like that. That's also when I met Pearl too. Um, yeah, Sausage is an OG. Sausage and I like have been really, really good friends the entire time on YouTube. It's still like constantly we'll just message each other and I absolutely love it. I, I, I love this part so much. We'll just message each other and do like, look, dude, look what I built. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. What do you think about it? And we'll just like throw out ideas and just like, just absolutely random just like messaging each other dude look at this new building oh my. like he uh i'm not gonna spoil him because i don't i'm not gonna do that to him but he sent me a few buildings and things that he has like planned for pirates smp and he this was like two weeks before pirates started he's like dude i can't i'm so excited for this smp this is gonna be so fun look at all these builds i already have planned just like out of the blue sent me pictures of all of them it was so fun so he's a really good he's he and i've been around been hanging for a long long time um and then I actually met Pixarifs really, really early on too. I had like 5k subs and he had 30k or something like that, I think was when we first met. Um, and then that was on Decidely Vanilla. I remember being like, oh my gosh, this guy has so many subscribers. Wow, his channel is huge. And then I'm like, oh, that's just Pix. <laughs> like and now that I know him so well, I, was, I just remember being so intimidated back then. Yeah, I met all of them at, at the latest was the time that I pretty much like started full time streaming. Were you invited to pirates? No, I wasn't. What FOV do you play with? I play with like 80. Yeah, just 80. 
I find 90 is a little too much. 80 seems to be the nice medium. I know I have weird ways of I build beacons because I do it on purpose because so many people comment it, but that was a pretty weird one. What's happened since you started the city? Dude, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I, didn't, I couldn't even tell you all the builds I've made since the city began. Been a few episodes. <laughs> Pix is awesome. Yeah, Pix is a good dude. I'd love to record with him more. I know he loves his survival guide stuff. The same way I love my single player stuff, so I get it. But it'd be he's a fun one to record with. He's, he's really fun to work with on projects because he knew so much about the game. I will always use a water bucket to clear grass. How'd you meet Grian? Um, I think the first time I met him was doing one of those joint streams with Jimmy. It, it was through Jimmy is when I first met Grian. Like one of the little joint, like, I don't think it was the first time we played Raft, but it was something around then. I definitely got to know him a lot more in the recent years though. I, I got to know Grian a lot more over the course of the Hermitcraft Club. Just because he and I were the head reps from either side, so I got to know him a lot better through that. And the fact that we still talk means that we didn't bash our heads together too much. <laughs> it was definitely one of those times where you're just like, there's so many groups involved and so many you get so many content creators doesn't matter if they're all best friends if they're all like the closest people ever in the entire world you get so many content creators in a room together and say hey let's decide on something that we're going to do as a group that's will also work for everybody's content you're not going to have a fun time <laughs> There will always be objections. There will always be different ways of doing things. Who thinks their idea is the best? And finally, just like getting a decision on what you're going to do to make it happen and just running with it is so difficult. And it's just, you really just got to be willing to say like, you know what? All right, let's run your idea. Like, it's fine. Like, I, I like, <laughs> you got to pick your battles. You really got to pick your battles. So you think about it, ultimately, YouTube videos are your own income. Like you don't you don't share an income if like off of a series or a collab or whatever. And everybody's posting your own videos. You get what uh, you get your own video revenue. We don't share anything. So you also you got to make sure it works for yourself. We also got to make sure it works for the group. Cause some people are gonna want to watch you too. We clearing for a new build. Honestly, probably won't build here for like a year. <laughs> but it's been bugging me for so long that I just want to get it cleared. I'm not letting myself build on this side until I have the city connected from the top to bottom. So that's probably like another two or three city building episodes. I also don't want to fall into the slippery slope of every single time I build the city, I feel like I have to build just like this crazy large percent percentage to make it seem noticeable. But I also don't want the videos to be like, hey, so I built a street. You share the server cost. Usually whoever admins the server kind of grabs it because Minecraft servers really are not that expensive when it's your job. And being a YouTuber, you don't have too many business expenses. So it's really not that bad to pick up a server because you just file it with your business expense report, which we don't need to get into talking taxes or anything like that, but it makes it not that bad. As a YouTuber, you want to find every expense that you can because there's not too many of them. <laughs> Gotta save them taxes. Woo. Yay. So fun. So, like, when we do Empires, I pay for it. We were sponsored by Shockbite for Season 1 and Season 2 for a while. And then we did move over to using a private host, which is now the same host that's running the community server. Um, we just felt we needed something a little bit more than what we were able to get through Shockbite. So, move beyond that, and then it's not too expensive to run a server. Full of 
rigged. I don't know what you're talking about. The pole's perfect. You get to choose which way you want to say happy birthday. And then you also have to like the stream because it's my birthday, so you have to. I don't make the rules. I don't make the birthday rules. Birthday rules have been around for, for a long time. If you're in somebody's stream on their birthday, you have to like the stream. It's just how it goes. Yield an underwater field like seagrass or sea pickles. Honestly, if we ever go back over to the ocean monument, yeah, that'd be kind of fun. I would love to around the ocean monument, like have some underwater dwellings. I think the ocean monument could be something that we really expand off of and make something really cool out of. And have like conduits powering, powering it all so it's like safe and everything down there. Uh, Angel, thank you so very much for the 18 months at tier 2. Thanks for the nice message. I appreciate that. Most birthdays occur in August. But will there be an Empire Season 3? Uh, no plans are in motion currently is all I can say. The group is focusing on new life right now. And I think too. most people kind of took a break for the summer. So new life is progressing a little slower than originally intended. Um, just because people needed a break. If you think about it, we have been going hard on SMPs since the start of COVID. And that's really difficult to do. To be like, the interesting part I find about being a YouTuber that like has been a recent, more recent discovery for me is how much that like, you need creative downtime and how much like YouTubers are just kind of pressured to constantly produce, constantly have a weekly upload, constantly have blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. And I know there's a lot of people who, who are out there like, well, no, it's fine. Like take a week off if you need to. But the algorithm itself of being a creator does not lend to taking time off being a great thing for you. Um, so like there's a lot of time that is just like, there's pressure to upload so it's hard to take time off so we very much did like we ended smps and then the week after was typically when the next smp launched like we weren't even taking a week off especially during covid because there's nothing else to do except sit at home and play minecraft and work and whatnot so that kind of got really busy and we just kept that running and so many people i think now are just like really feeling that stage of the burnout the brain needs some rest every now and then yeah 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 Good mental health is not optimal for the algorithm. That is a true statement if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I'm trying to move into more of a phase of, if I need time, I'm taking time. And it's it's difficult. It's really difficult to adjust to and like do that. Like it's, it's a big struggle I have of just being able to tell myself it's okay to take today off and not work. <laughs> like it's, it's okay to, and like I, I'm not the best about it, I will be honest. Like, I typically work six days a week. I think I think I, I usually, I'm like a 50 hour a week person probably right now, which is not the healthiest. Like, that's a lot of hours to work. And I know a lot of people do it normally. Like some people, that's their average week. But like, it's not great regardless whether you're doing it or not. It's not, not the healthiest. So I'm trying to be better about it. I think come the fall, I'm going to probably just like take a week and be like, yeah, we might stream maybe, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm just kind of trying going through the summer right now and getting through all that stuff. And then I'm going to be like, yep, we chill now. It's all stone. It is all stone. It's also one of those things where I love to create videos and I love to build and do all that stuff. Like it's one of my favorite things to do which is really lucky that I could do it as a job. 
but then you also have to acknowledge that no matter how much you love something like you can still be tired of it <laughs> and you can still need a little break and that is totally healthy it's just part of life okay let's take that out and then all those ones. did i miss anything no two we've been streaming for three hours but nothing's happened don't worry <laughs> you can rewind if you want to we've been doing a big terraforming project today did you cost did it cost mo you money to start youtube um i did not spend any money on youtube until i earned money off of youtube but i will i will preface that with i already was a computer building hobbyist am a computer building hobbyist Pleased so i already you. had a really good computer because I just have always really enjoyed it. I really enjoy the process of designing and putting together computers and all that. And uh, as many, if anybody else is a fellow hobbyist, uh, knows that it's not the cheapest hobby. <laughs> Somehow there's always a new shiny part to buy. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so I've, I had a good computer to get started but I very much made it a thing for me. I think I spent $40 on a microphone. Like I think my first microphone I spent 40 bucks on. So that's all of the money I sunk into it. And then after that, I said, if YouTube makes money, I will put more money into YouTube. And I, I held true to that. I held true to that the entire time. Now it's a different case because it's my full time job. But yeah, so I guess it's still the same because I'm making money off YouTube and putting it back in if I need to. Yeah, I, I've made zero dollar investment on YouTube because I know how much of a slippery slope that is. And I know I am I can very much be the type of person that that is like, well, if I just spend a little bit more money here, I'll have better video quality, meaning more people are going to watch me, right? When in reality, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> it might help. Like up, uh, uploading a 1080p video is important nowadays, but not as important as you having it's just real. good content. Happy birthday to you and two. Like if your content sucks, Smart. nobody's gonna watch it, whether it's in 4K or 240p. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> uh, Desiree, thank you so much for the donut. I really appreciate that. And Rumble Bumble, thank you so much for coming to tier two member. I really appreciate that. Join the Discord if you want. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, hang on. Tier two gets you access. That's that's what I would say for anybody looking to get into YouTube. If you have not started YouTube yet, do not spend money on YouTube until you earn money on YouTube. That is the biggest thing I can say. Otherwise, it'll be a slippery slope and you're going to probably get burned out. And then a year later, you're going to be like, what am I going to do with this thousand dollar YouTuber setup when I don't want to make videos anymore? The only expense you need to put into YouTube is to get a computer that can record. That is that is it, but I don't think your reasoning for buying that computer should be YouTube. I think it should be a, a secondary option because you also want to do YouTube. As a viewer, I can't deal with bad audio, but I can deal with some poor video quality. Oh, yeah. Bad audio is... Ugh. I, now that I've now that I've been on YouTube for so long, it has been killing my brain if I hear something with bad audio. Even like, we'll be listening to music or something like that, or we listen to, Sid has some podcasts that she used to listen to, and one of the people's microphones had a very strong popping sound. And I, after a while, I finally asked her, I was like, do you hear that? Like, do you, do you hear the popping sound on it? And I think I kind of ruined the podcast for her because after she heard it, I she stopped listening to it as much. Uh, because then she couldn't unhear it but like when you start hearing that stuff it's like ah oh. like for my audio i know i was talking to marcos about this so it's kind of relevant uh, we're, t we're looking at the video that's coming out yesterday and we're going through a few things because some of the audio levels felt a little off the voice felt down and the music was high and so it's kind of overpowering the voice on it so we were kind of like turning the music down a touch and then we experimented with turning the audio up and i was like no 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 we can't do that all i hear is the s sound in my voice uh, I I don't have a list, but I definitely have like a, a lasting S sound. So I, I already have a de on the mic, but you can still hear it. And so when we bumped up the voice sounds, 
you heard that a lot more and i was like i can't i like no we can't we can't release that like that's not so bad so we ended up opting to turn the music down a lot more over it and everything so it didn't come in more your birthday it is today yeah that's just the fun about it that's the fun of being youtube YouTube youtubies Okay. Actually, we're gonna need that. Look at us. Look at us digging things. How are we looking here? Nailed that. Also, I wanna see stats. We're so close to a million mind on the pickaxe. Oh, 52,100 away. Not even. We're getting there. I wonder if shovel will be 500k before pickaxe will be a million. Yeah, so before this land that we're at came all the way out to here. Like, that is pretty much where it ended. Like, is that sand? That looks so much nicer now. And it's so much more level. We still got some more work to do on it, but it's it's good for now. We could gr We could grass that all over if we wanted to, but I think it's okay for now. When are you going to make the underground river connection in your village? Oh, the one over on that side. I kind of forgot about it. That's a good that's a good shout though. Good shout. I don't know how much longer we'll keep streaming. I did want to go looking for the what should I call it? The underwater sunken treasures and whatnot. Also, I've decided this. I don't know if I've shared it with you all yet, but I've decided this is going to be in my foliage storage. We're going to make a bunch of little market stalls so we'll probably have some over here we'll have one for flowers we'll have one for leaves we'll have for one for like moss type stuff and then drip leaves and those types of things and this is going to be all for foliage storage i think it's gonna be really cute so we're gonna do that in here and then i also i want to build a glass blower sh soon like a glass blowers workshop and we're gonna turn that into like a glass storage and then we also I, I want to just keep adding more buildings that are different storage types. So we have different reasons to go inside all these places. So, yeah, this will be the foliage market. stopped I'm not working on it now I don't really want to start I, I think I need to creative design it to be honest to make something in here that's gonna have space for all the different types of flowers your boys got shulkers of flowers we need lots of storage for flowers we're gonna need all the different types of leaves and probably space for one or two more because i'm assuming they're gonna add more and then we're gonna have all of maybe we could have leaves like leaves can take honestly if leaves take like a big stall along this entire back and we could have flowers in this whole section over here moss can kind of be a smaller stall in here and then we can have the other foliage things like little one there and a little one here or something because i want to have like the main walkway be open here open here and then also open to be able to walk out this side and then we'll probably want like this whole little middle line here needs to be open all the way back for the little seating area Should build a big palace of some sort in the city the i'm debating on a palace or like a a university i can't yeah, now I like the idea of a university being up here. Maybe up there. 
that could be kind of fun because we could have a university up there and that could be a reason for the drawbridge and then like the way up here and that's why the town expanded out in this direction and we could have a big old like fancy university on the top that's gonna be like a market that's gonna be definitely more of a market than a greenhouse we also have this really cool thing back here i've yet to do anything with it but this this terrain here is so cool Do you have any YouTube regrets? Not really. Other than waiting so long to get started, I guess. But like, that is so cool. Trash Panda, thank you so much for the dono. Enjoy editing. Have fun. Hey, for real. Gotta get back to editing, but happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is really cool over here. But yeah, so the plan... I'm, I'm kind of feeling tired. I don't think we're going to get our... What the heck is up there? When do they spawn like this? Pressure plate. How have I never seen a portal spawn floating? What? glitch in the matrix <laughs> I am so confused well I know the the portal thing spawn all over never seen one spawn floating but yeah so the plan here for this river um, so the reason why it's going to take a long time is um, we've got to cut the river through here. And then I think we can connect out to there. Can't remember if this goes anywhere or not. It does not. Yeah, so this is going to be like a, this is like a one month project pretty much. Like we're going to have to dig from here. I think we can, we got to figure out the route. Once we can get the route, that'll be easy because it needs to be like 15 blocks wide. And if we have sheer cliffs, that's fine. But like through here, that's a lot. This is too skinny to run through, so that's not possible. And it does go to a nice little village. I'll show you all the place that I'm, I want to build that like port town. No force fire exactly, yeah. That port town that I was talking about earlier that I've been, cl we've cleared the space out slowly for is this. And I wanted to run this as the river that goes back, but we'll see if we can even make that happen. But yeah, this is, this is the birch forest I've slowly cleared. <laughs> so this is where I get all my birch leaves. And I've been slowly clearing and I haven't reset it or anything yet because I wanted to turn it into something. Hey, Beatrice, thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate it then. And thank you for that birthday wish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. Pork Town? Yeah, Pork Town. But right over here... Hey, for real. ...is where we get back in. So, like, this is the little one with the river. Little, this is, like, our episode three river creek. Um, And we have that. Did you ever do a video or a stream where you comment and rate our followers builds? We just did a tour on the Patreon server, the supporter server, where I went around and looked at people's builds for a bit and did like a little competition. Winner got some diamonds, I think. Something else. Can't remember what the prizes was. Um, so we did that and that, I, I do that type of stuff. I'll be honest, I just, it's one of those things where I don't have time. Um, so many people out there send in so many builds and things like that all the time. Try to check them out if I can, but it's hard to dedicate all that time to it because there's so many lovely people in this community and there's just so many entries that's not really possible so i kind of do it more for the supporters and things like that just to keep it more simple on my side 
But my friends, I think that is going to do it for today. I think I'm about ready to jump on out of here and move on for the day. But thank you all so much for hanging. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the lovely birthday wishes and everything like that. Hope you all did enjoy today's stream. Little digging project and all that type of stuff. We got a lot done. We got, we got a lot of stuff done. That was basically three hours of digging. So thank you all so much. Also, we just hit 3,000 likes, so I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and all that cool stuff out there. But with that, my friends, I'm going to be getting on out of here. So I will catch you all on the flip side, where tomorrow there's a new hardcore video coming out. So I should probably upload that after stream. I'm going to go do that now. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.